Guys, we are live. We're live. Okay. Live with Didn't episode five. Episode five, everybody. So uh, I'll let Leo here do the intro while I uh, try to do some paste poging. Post <laughs> paging, paging, posts. Yeah, hey, go like that. share the posts around the web. Yeah, so then that way we can get I'm some more of you guys dyslexic. coming. We want we want some more of you guys yeah. to join us. Oh, yeah, we love is, it. We, we love, love doing the, this. The, the discussion last week was great. I will say there weren't as many com comments, but I feel like the comments were still very entertaining. Exactly. The, the same people came back. Thank you guys. And you guys, Shante, you've been coming back a lot. A lot of the other, right, Jake, you've been coming back a lot. Like we've been seeing some familiar faces and we love it. Man. Oh yeah. Like, we, we and we this. appreciate it. Also, please know that we appreciate the hell out of for you. For real. Guys. We, we, this is why we do this. We this do this for you we guys do to come We do it so that, yeah. So that you, not only so that, you know, we, you know, we got to be a little vain to be on camera. That's, yeah, but, but we come to talk to you guys so you can teach us more comic stuff. Tell us your opinions. Like, oh man, last week last was week the best was week the yet. Knowledge week. Every like, week's it was better. Like, oh yeah, that? people are like, what is this? Things. And then we'll type it in. We'll find it, or someone will tell us something. Or I love. For me, it's always great when we disagree on stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I so then that way that. you can learn about new shit. Like, holy shit, that's a new fact I learned about this character that I had no idea about. Like this person obviously has read a couple of series that I haven't, and you you get all these references, you pick up all these things. Oh but yeah. Welcome to episode five, everybody. My name is Leo. I go by Leo Rydell in my writer life. And I'm the blog, uh, the blurred blog, excuse me, the blurred blog on Instagram. You can follow me. And I've actually gotten to about 1,400 followers now. Hey, so there there's go, some man. good content on there. He, he I encourage you guys stuff. to follow me and my compadre here. He makes some great music that he releases every Friday and Saturday. I so do. he's releasing fresh tracks. Everyone just gets better and better, man. Yeah, like thank the you. talent is very obvious. Hey, thank you. I've been I've been hearing similar comments, and I'm trying not to let let it get to my head, but it's it's feeling good. Your words, I'm Smith, appreciate it. Hey, words, thank you. You are it. too. The oh, those you, the man. new you guys got to check it out. Also, aside from just the Blurs blog, where you will find all his uh, blogs, he also does writing for several different publications online. Check him out all over. He writes for everyone: video games, comics, movies. He does it all. You gotta check him out. Leo's very talented, very oh, good thanks, with words, man. and very, uh, very observant and good with his. You know, uh, but enough about us. We want to hear about you guys. What are you guys doing this week? You right? Know? You know, go ahead and drop a comment. Let us know what comment, you're getting into. Any comment, any even questions, if it's just anything. Hashtag like... Comic Convo, C O M I C O N V O S, or hashtag C O M I C C O N V O S. However way you want to spell it, just go ahead and tag us. Tag a question. Drop a comment below. You know, we're open to questions. We're open to discussion. Again, that's why we do this every week. Hey, thank you, Jorge and Celeste. I see you guys. Thank you for jumping in the room, thank guys. Thank you guys so much. Welcome. We encourage conversation. We so, definitely. We're going to just roll into movies here for new releases. There actually really hasn't been anything in January. There's been a Resident Evil, anything good, I'll say. Okay, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Resident the Evil, which was... Guys, that was a cut and paste. If you guys have seen, yeah, Monster, Monster trucks. trucks. If you guys have seen Resident Evil, by the way, let us know what you thought. I mean, I thought it was another tin plate paste. I haven't like, seen it, it just... but I personally thought it was going to be that way as well. It's almost just easy to graze over just because it seems like a paste, bro. It's like, eh, it's good, but is it great? No. So you just keep on going about your business, you know? Mm hmm. So, but um, thank you guys again for tuning in. It's. Oh yeah, so, seriously. Uh, we've already got a couple people, and it's the greatest. Sorry about we've got sounds off going. We're still trying to share the page, trying to get more people involved yeah, in our we conversations. Want to just what uh? Yeah, uh, I already saw Celeste, but still, like I said, seriously, ask us any question you want. We're gonna start our own thing, obviously, uh, as we always do. We have some pre-prepared topics uh, that we kind of use to help us go. But we would love it if you give us some topics too. Tell yeah, us jump what you into think, it with us, please. Um. First off, uh, I guess we wanted to talk a little bit about Lego Batman, dude. dude. I, I think that is going to be such a fabulous movie. I think it's cool, and I think there's going to be a lot of people coming because exactly because of... Michael Sarah's in it. You got oh, they all have kinds a of ton fucking of ton of Will names. Will Arnett, he's Pat in Oswald, it. Yep. Uh, Zach, Zach Galifianakis as the Joker, which yeah. I was not. I was a little reticent about, but oh, you know, at least they're doing it. They're doing the Joker, and that's you know, uh oh, lagging. Lagging? God. Oh, thanks, Celeste. Take care. I think it might just be uh, a lag on her computer. Yeah, that may be. Welcome, everyone, to the room. Too. We have seven viewers now. And Also, welcome. Celeste, I know Hopping you can't, in. if you can't watch live, always feel free to 
watch later on our page because these are on the page these videos and do send us comments on twitter or here uh at the hashtag and we will address them during the episode you know obviously. or even the next episode we'll definitely reply to you but right we'll right well that's what i mean during the next episode obviously we'll, we'll, we'll try to fit you in and we want you to feel included even if you're not able to watch live guys exactly but you yeah, know, that Lego Batman, dude. Oh, I'm I'm really... pretty excited. They got this, the the ad out now with Harley Quinn pudding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, man, just the voices are really really good, man. I think Michael Sarah as Robin is kind of awkward, but it's funny. Like it, it it works. You know what I mean? It, it does. The thing is, there's different levels to things that you do and what you want to do, and I think that one's gonna be good. Uh, besides that. Are you excited for John Wick 2? Yeah, John Wick 2 looks pretty good. Um, to be honest, dude, the first one was kind of a blur to me. Like, it, I watched it one time. It's kind of like some of the Bourne movies. Like, I watched them one time, and I was like, okay, that was good enough for me. And then I just... So, here's the thing. Again, a lot John of movies... Wick. And I saw someone else talking about this on, obviously, always the comments. But some movies are only one-time watches. Yeah, and exactly. They, that's fine. That's and some fine. Some people make the mistake of watching them twice, and it's like, see, that's mm -hmm. why I was a one only. Yeah, there are things that are made to be watched many times and things that are made to be watched one time without... But the other thing is you got to not overthink it sometimes. You, people get way too meta watching movies. They do. And they let themselves ruin it. Don't get me wrong. I do it a lot, too. I'm like, oh gonna burst out from behind the door gonna mm -hmm. kill jesus yeah, yeah it, it's predictable it but... was blah 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 i do it all the time do it all the time you see it akshay thanks for joining man Thank welcome you. to the room hey we we enjoy when we have a new viewer we always address them you know and want well, you guys we, we definitely and try at least us, you know especially when you we, you know when you're talking to us and we're you know we will try to yeah, say yeah. your name and give you the shout on stream i mean i guess we might get in trouble for that but no, oh, well. we're not. Nothing's gonna happen, man. We're just doing harmless shoutouts. We so. are doing harmless shoutouts. Although, if you don't want us to say your name, let us know. Let us know. Dude, and we will jump try in and just like say, you know, hey, next time, no, don't say my name. It's all good. Well, we won't. But anyway, it could. Oh man, I think John Wick was one of those like we were saying. It's just kind of like you go back to that that moment when you saw it the first time and you feel like yeah, and that your was good enough for me. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I, I, I'm enjoy I enjoyed, enjoyed it, it. And it's like, boom, that's it. And, and here's the thing. How do you feel about two? How do you feel? Do you think it's going to ruin it? Like, it's not going to be... No, not quite. I feel like... Because a lot of people didn't like the, the recent Jason Bourne. I seen it one time, man. I thought it was great. I saw it once and that's it. Some the people watch is... two or three times and I'm like, no, dude, that's the mistake. Yeah, not every bullet. Not, most movies aren't bulletproof. Actually, most movies are pretty. Yeah, yeah, full, but I think. <laughs> okay, that was the good thing about Star Wars Episode Seven. You, I can keep watching that, man. I, I enjoyed on. it, man. I enjoyed it. I can keep it. on watching yeah, that. The pro, like I said, the problem with that movie were entirely meta, but I had them going in, so I was fine. Now that I got already got past those problems, mm -hmm. there's no problem. And Rogue One was good. I only saw that once as well. But it was good to me. I thought it was really good. Got some really good reviews, actually. Um, but yeah, John Wick 2 is good. Ghost in the Shell. You know, I haven't seen a single thing about it. I think it's because all the people mm -hmm. that are flaming that she's not, you know, Asian. An Asian actress. There are a lot of people against that because of Scar, Scar Joe. And then there are a lot of people um, just kind of skeptic because it's a live action anime movie. Like, those movies release trailers in small amounts for a reason they do it they do. on purpose like they're to, like mm. to keep you teased dude. yeah and that's it it's the same I'm reason watching. that we haven't seen another spider-man trailer and probably won't until another month or so exactly probably march when after logan i'd say is when we'll see another spider-man trailer exactly what's after up eric uh, hey, good to see you thank man thank you thank you for coming in thank you for everyone <laughs> music major in. fam good to see hey, you hey yeah, yeah oh man but yeah dude <clears throat> it's like <sighs> It's it looks like one of the anime live actions. Definitely, <clears throat> I mean, there's no None doubt of them about have really that. Really been good, except no. the Ramoni Kenshin. That one, that one I heard was pretty good. The uh, first one was good. One of them's kind of iffy, and then the other one is. I think the second one is the one that was iffy to me, and then I the recently the third part came out was pretty good. Hmm. So I was like, they got back on track, you know. The second one just kind of had a little bit, a little bit of in between beef that didn't need to be there. What's up, Andrew? Oh, dude, thank you. Yeah, we're trying to do this every week, hey, man. Thanks. We enjoy we enjoy having you guys come and comment and conversate with us, man. I just 
we get so excited when we <laughs> can conversate and talk to everyone. Oh yeah, I mean it's the best. Like your guys' comments are really help move the comment then you get then we get more than our boring opinions exactly we get more people to get roped in and man it's been getting extended oh, thank you guys so much it's been yeah. extending the episodes out we've been yeah we we've really getting, getting through. two hours which me and leo had talked about what we would be realistically looking at and we were debating an hour to an hour and a half real to be what we wanted for the episodes but we've been but, jumping. Yep, and I and I even later. said we might. We'd be might be going to two hours. What are we discussing today? We're discussing all types of all comics. All types of comics. Right now we're in movies. movies, and so what we've covered so far is a little bit of Lego Batman and the voices, uh, some John Wick two, and, uh, and uh, Ghost, Ghost in, in the, the Shell. Shell. Yeah, Ghost yeah. in the Shell. And we've has just been, been kind of lightly covering those. And sorry, we have a little lag. We're just, we're trying to catch up to your comments, so our our bad with that. But uh, so we're we're trying to see. Do you have any other uh, good movies that are kind of either upcoming or have recently? Yeah. Released what do you that... guys think that? I mean, we were talking about Justice League Dark last week. That was a oh, really great movie. Yeah. I mean, we it was, we it watched was, some I, after the yeah, podcast. I watched all of it. It was basically <laughs> yes. a Constantine movie. And it I was. was like, it was. This a is Constantine. the background I would like to see. And that and I, that's why I was happy with. It. I told you, despite what my original problems with, were with the movie, which we had talked about, which I I, I wasn't too happy about Batman looking like he was such a heavy focus. But going into the movie, he's really he's not. not. He's, he's just there. He's a yeah, placeholder he's for the he Justice League. He does stuff. He does, he's cool. He's Batman. He's, there's some parts I'm still pissed he's about. He's a Justice how... League placeholder. Because yeah. none of the other ones are really in it that much. Power Rangers. We we discussed that last week, but we are Power very Rangers. excited Okay, I for tore Power up Rangers. Power Rangers But today. we're going to do it again I as did. long as people want I tore up Mighty uh, Morphin Power Rangers today, you guys. And I will say, uh, I meant to include the fact that like... Because it is like such oh, a man. old school piece of history, and the show was so awesome at the time, it actually is a good movie. That for that fact alone, oh, I yeah. tore it up. Dude, in a all right, so like, here's I'm the like... thing: sometimes you have to judge things based on classics. Upcoming Power Rangers, though, we've talked about how great everything looks visually. Visually, but Zordon looks amazing, and we are very happy with Brian Cranston so far. Alpha Five looks weird, though. We were. I wasn't belly. even. I wasn't even mad about how he looked. I was mad about why. Oh man! Why? Why is the voice so different from original alpha alpha's voice was very specific like this type voice that you could definitely get somebody to do yeah somebody can do exactly the alpha voice. exactly or at least some kind of similarity maybe a the voice i don't like the chunky gut though i'm like i'm not gonna lie i was like rangers 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 <laughs> danger <laughs> rangers <laughs> Oh, so, she was Zordon. But, Zordon is Zordon, which, which was not so adorable in the sadness of like movie two. Yeah, or no, was it movie one where he was no Mighty Morphin? One. No, no, he was still in that one in that with that voice. Well, yeah, in one, I meant in Morphin one was that that was the one where he got knocked out of the dome, right? Yeah, and we finally saw him as yeah. a kind of an actor. We find we actually saw him and he uh, looked all saggy and, and all dead, he and he's like, oh up. man, my childhood. But then yeah. they beat they beat the uh, Professor Ooze. Ooze, right. Ivan Ooze, Ivan yeah. Ooze, Ivan Ooze. My name is Ivan. Oh man! Oh, thank you, Ariana. Uh, you, you, you. Oh, really... thanks for entering. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and, and when heart. you come in, guys, feel free to like hit us with a comment. We we uh, have one, and we will definitely start. We we're trying to start streaming on multiple fronts. And uploading our videos. To yeah, we're YouTube. trying to spread across. So a we'll bit. we'll try to get that up for sure, Andrew. Uh, we're we're just currently not able to do both. Yeah, we just got to get a couple more episodes in, get a little more uh, good with the tech issues, things yeah. of that nature. We got to figure out the kinks, yep. and we're figuring out where our fan base is and who who exactly wants this and what. Tyler, thanks for entering, my man. Hey, good to thank see you, guys man. So much. Uh, besides, but besides that, movies. It seems like we don't have too many. I mean, there's stuff coming up, but we've discussed it. We've discussed Logan. We've discussed yeah. Spider-Man coming up. Guardians of the Galaxy Guardians of Galaxy. We haven't, we haven't really discussed that. But that's because there's not much to discuss yet. Everything is so... All we can but discuss I mean, is guys, Mantis. come on. Baby Groot. Baby Groot. Okay. <laughs> Baby Groot. Baby Groot. Like, kills can, your heart can, can and the universe. That? Can I just say that we have this awesome, adorable Baby oh, Groot. We've got Baby more Groot. comedy that just looks pleasantly placed in Marvel like it usually oh, is. Oh, yeah, and it's it's along with the series, which is the great part. Yeah, it's like, man. okay, so this is the button. <laughs> man. Um, Not this you know button. What? This button will kill us all. To touch on something real quick, today um, I posted up a post, um, and I posted it on Comic Convos and my Instagram, and I had some comments come back, and I was like, 
who are the top five like worst villains in the MCU? And a lot of people were. I had a lot, a couple comments about Yellow Jacket being a bad one. And I was like, yeah, I didn't. I, I thought uh, Yellow Jacket was iffy. I he was. I think the way he acted, acted yeah. It was but just, even then, I wouldn't put him at the top. Loki acted way more evil. No, no, no. I'm saying these are the worst. Oh, you mean the, like the the not good ones? Yeah, the not good. Sorry, that makes it that's hard with villains because worst is a good thing for a villain. Well, you know what I mean. They're the ones I, that just the didn't bad villains. Hit. Yeah, the not the not scaries. Yeah, I would call it, exactly. So I was like, eh, I thought Yellow Jacket was kind of weak. Um, I saw a couple more comments, but like, yeah, you guys I watched know the trailer some. like ten times today. G O T G. Right, dude. <laughs> that's just how I feel every time uh, I see that trailer. I'm I can't like, watch. I can't watch it enough either. Mm. Whenever I'm feeling down, I just gotta go watch that. I don't am want Groot. <laughs> we... No, don't press the button. Don't. I am Groot. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am one... Groot. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> Uh, dude, I'm just, I'm I am just so uh, excited uh, about it. And then everything else about the trailer, even besides Groot, was great. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, like, Ma you Mantis, you, you feel Mantis. love, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel a general love for all creatures. No, you feel sexual, sexual love. <laughs> and then I love that. Was the Drag is laughing at him. <laughs> she just she told everybody, everybody your deepest, darkest <laughs> secrets. <laughs> uh, do me. Do me. <laughs> that seems like I think Drax is like that drunk person everyone right? wants to be all the time. <laughs> you just want to be happy and loud, happy and, and funny and enjoying yourself. Oh, and seriously, all. seriously. And then, oh man, it's great. Hey, thank you guys for the uh, likes and the comments and everything. Groot is Loki. Okay. He, he is. People don't know about that. How strong Groot really is. Although currently, I would have to say in the comics. Not in blah blah blah. Not Gamora in the movie. is yeah, like a yeah. celestial guardian or some other bullcrap. Right? She's crazy. Yeah, she's, she's or unless she lost that in right Secret now. Wars, I don't know. I don't think because currently Gamora is not a guardian of the galaxy. I mean, no, she is not on. The she team has her own been. line right now. She does. Um, well, that one's a whole thing. I am actually. It's oh, great. awesome, man! Uh, I'm keeping up with the Star his Lord, beard right? holds his deepest secrets. Uh, but Groot Loki is the strongest. <laughs> Not only that, Lo Groot Loki is the smartest guardian. Yeah, he actually is. Despite he's the most his... insightful as well. Yeah, he's he's and got empathetic. a. I forget. It's like uh, a, a, he's got like a degree in intradimensional or multidimensional con Something design like that, or architectural. Yeah. Groot. He's a he's a genius supposedly. He's a genius, and he's from a royal line of trees. Yeah, get, get I know this. you guys think I, I am Groot is dumb, but like, no. Apparently, he's... that's what his entire race, race says. says. Yeah, that's I've seen that. I've seen it, and it's funny because it's, his entire race says that once they reach an age, they can no longer form words. Their yep. larynx hardens as wood or something, supposedly. It, it's some kind of thing that happens to and them. And then I can't remember who, and, start, and that's either Mantis. Some, somebody, somebody tells people that you can still understand what he says by the Slight, slight variations, variations in how he says and that's how I'm, rocket can pick it up because right no he he's been with group for so long that he know, just that understands he that slight variation mm -hmm. uh thank you again for everybody watching and all the jamie news. welcome to the room man yeah if you had guys i know you know, we, we Andrew, try to stay welcome. up all the things. thank you tyler and chet sorry if we didn't shout you out you've given us some great ones tyler you've been very common very so participative you. by the way tyler uh Congrats on going back to college today. I saw you were trying to get back into it for training. Congrats on that, man. Hey, man. Go for it. Improving yourself is always Hell a worthwhile yeah. endeavor. Congrats, man. Congrats. But, uh, yeah, wow. Guardians of the Galaxy. I guess we hadn't really talked about that we one. We hadn't that talked yeah. about Guardians. Hey, what's up, Jamie? Thank you for coming in. Uh, Guardians is going to be great. We've seen the monster. We've seen the comedy, which is what it's best known for, I'd say. And what I'd say the Marvel comic universe is known for is comedy. Is comedy. Yep. That is the big difference between, between them and Marvel DC. and DC. Because there's They're serious parts in both of them. Oh, yeah. But they have those comic relief moments along And not more. only that, I think... And he, here's the thing. I think death happens in the Marvel Universe probably just as much, but I think it's not played up as much. But I think, I think they it, don't show it as much. Here's what I think DC has a little bit over it, especially, I will say, I'll, I'll shout out Zod, who's probably the best example of this. Their villains are more dark, dude. Like I said, they're, they're the, like, whole tone like, of the, the whole tone of the movie is much darker. Much darker than it is. And, I, and I've grown to like that in a sense. But it's like they gotta break loose of that sometime. They and do. Get, and, and here's get the... Get out of formula. Yeah, and here's the problem. So we talk about, like I said, I was saying... Despite the fact that they probably have the exact 
same amount of casualties in all incidents, you know, for both invasions of Earth and both. The difference is how they play it. Exactly. And how, it is, and, and how, you know, they look. How they play it and even just like. The enemies the, like the, the enemies have to. It, it, you just got to break loose of character a little bit yeah. because that's how people are, especially in situations where deep down they're like, we don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. Even heroes are like, whatever's gonna happen. So you you break from character a little yeah. bit. Batman's yeah. done it. Superman's done it. Like we, things have happened. Superman had to snap his neck at that very moment because he didn't know what was gonna happen. Kay. He could have killed that family. He could have. He could have. He had to do it. There's no other decision. They're and they're definitely harder to say. That's an interesting. A good thing about DC Universe, like they do. Superman sacrificed himself. So we got a comment from Andrew Hathaway. Y'all gonna touch on any video games in the future? We are and have. Yeah. And, and I'm actually to gonna to touch. To yeah. Later, I have a couple things uh, about certain video games and different ones. Yeah, There's a couple wins we played, few, actually, and he might. he can actually tell you probably a little more even now about Kingdom Hearts. I guess. Oh yeah, we're gonna touch on Kingdom Hearts. We're definitely gonna touch on he's gonna I'll touch do on some Overwatch, Overwatch yeah, and as well that. as a little bit of League of Legends. Not too much. It's a pretty common game everyone everyone played at one point. Right, right, right. But a little bit will be great. You a know, little, well just it's it a little some. bit about the uh updates and the, yeah. the and a little more more so about the events and etc. you know what's going on right now because of the New Year events. So. Speaking of video games I think one thing that has so much potential, dude. Sorry to derive from topic, everyone. We I know we're in lot. movies, but we're going to just kind of jet off a little bit here. Just a bit. It's just like the app Pokemon Go was supposed to be such a good app. But why did they not incorporate things such as like trading, battling other, other trainers? Like they could have slowly spilled those things out and people would have stayed. They but they're, they're not there still to this day. Like I signed on to look at Pokemon Go. And I don't know, guys, if it <laughs> updated, let me know. Hanzo main, yeah. It's just like, oh, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, Hanzo. I can't. I can never I remember the thing. Oh, dig it. Blah blah blah. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Hanzo mains everywhere. Hanzo mains in your eye. <laughs> I um, knew it wasn't going to last. Yeah, Pokemon Go wasn't meant to last because they just didn't do the formula right, man. They didn't, the thing is... Even if they would have did the, the formula, is, it would have lasted a little longer, but it would have died. It sun and does. Moon all day. Sun and Moon is great from what I've heard. Yeah, Sun and Moon is amazing, I heard, man. You get every Pokemon game, too, Andrew. That's awesome, man. You get every single one. Lucky you, dude. Because <laughs> I haven't oh, had a man. Uh, Nintendo handheld... You Since know, I think I had a Nintendo DS last I did time. have like, a... The, I didn't get the 3DS I after. didn't either. I, didn't. I was like, Nintendo, step it up and do another system. I just you had did that with the stuff. DS, and guess what? You did that with the Wii as well. Time to move on. So that's why they're coming out with the Switch, so they can have that solution. So are you ready for the Switch, you? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's like, you ready for the Switch, you? <laughs> Seriously, because they got lazy on the Wii oh, U. Oh, they did. They don't care anymore at they all. They were like, we don't care. The Wii has so many great sales. We could just re-release it, slap another, slap a U on there, and they'll buy it, and it didn't work. So yeah. they had to come out with the Switch to bridge that solution to both brands. Because it's like the, th the DS and the 3DS is just another follow-up. Sorry about, you know... 3DS was good. I mean, I'm not going to lie. There's but nothing like, wrong Wii U with not, those. The, uh, there's the not Wii wrong U with was, them. The, it's just, they it just weren't, I, they weren't not only that, they weren't significant advancements. Mm -mm. Uh, Switch will be good, though, I'm hoping. Yeah. So we're going to move on from movies into TV shows because there's a ton to talk about in TV shows, guys. So much coming up. Mm, so man. much going on already. Uh, the TV shows in the comic universe are just blowing up. Yeah, like Agents of Shield right now. What season are they on? Like six? No, they're only five? like four or five. I, no, I'm I still, think, I'm still curious. Six. No, it's not it's six. five. Okay, it's it's maybe five. The I'm thing is, they, they, the last couple weren't. They were like numbered slash. I'm not even sure if this new one's like a switch yet because it's kind of hard to tell because they didn't really take time off. It's just like a different concept. Hmm? But it's, it, I don't know. But you know, in the past that we just finished out the Ghost Rider saga not too too long ago. So I heard that was but long awesome. enough ago that now I can feel like I can talk about it. It's been mm -hmm. about a month or more. Yeah. And so the people who follow the show know that that section of the show is over now. A lot of people don't follow the show. They don't like the early portions of the show or the later portions of the show. Exactly. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying about that. Saw another comment. Sorry, I keep coming in and out. Trying to play some PS with a cute girl. Hey, hey you get to, understandable. Get, get, yeah, get to ahead, that, sir. That, we're not gonna. We're not gonna hold that. up your time. You know, nerds. Nerds need love too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Go for it, man. You know. 
We need love. Play that PS, dude. I'm saying it. Ah, by the way, I hope you, I hope you guys got Kingdom Hearts 2.8. That's going to be good. <sighs> but... I'm waiting for three. Yeah. Wait, uh, I, I was going to say I the same thing. Good. I'm waiting for three. But that's not, <laughs> Well, the thing is, I'm waiting for three to buy the system, too. So. It's the same oh, really? reason I waited you to don't buy have... the Gears. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, well, it's also because I'm I'm a baroque uh, person who went to college in the early to late 2010s, and you know we didn't, you know, you know we didn't uh, get a lot of help with phones. That's very true. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't get a lot of love from the uh, debt is real out here. Uh, phone, yeah, real. If you didn't know that, but uh, we're not complaining. Just saying that we work, do stuff, and have that, so I don't always get to buy a new system because of that. Understandably, yeah. you know, you just, I just money I'm gonna money. have to splurge for the uh, switch. I might have to splurge out for the switch, uh, just because it's the switch, and also because I'll and I I'll want that Breath money. of the Wild, man. A Legend of Zelda open world is just gonna blow my head up. The thing is, I, I think I'm in the switch more for the street. Well, because I'm gonna try to do some not streams but recordings because I, I do have the stuff to do that still. Hopefully, I do want to do some streams. I want uh, the stream is great, man. We're doing it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for everyone who is watching still and everyone who was watching. Uh, please feel free to comment, like we said. Uh, so besides Agents of Shield, with you know some previous series that we have talked about are good. We'll talk about later because it has to do a new series coming out. Yeah. So n things that are coming out currently: Agents of Shield, LMD, Life Model Decoy. For those of you who don't know. Uh, from the comics, or I guess they didn't really mention them in the movies or anything, so they're not in the MCU. They're in the M. What is that? The Marvel Fox team? Fox? No, that's the Fox Universe. I guess yeah, the I Fox know. Universe, which is weird because they have like the okay. So that's one thing I want to talk about. So Life Model Decoys is currently in did a I section. Hear something about Gears of War? Yes, you did. Yes, you heard Gears of War four from me. I have the Gears four yes, Xbox, Xbox themed Gears one. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm like, very. Yeah, I've yeah. been a Gears fan uh, for a very long time. I know, and I'm so. I have sad not I played RE seven yet. I've been talking about getting it. I, I, I kind of want to, but I haven't heard the most promising things, especially because it's no longer two player. <gasps> what? Yup. No one knows that. That's what I heard, at least. Ooh. What's up, Gears? It, you know, correct me if I, I'm going to go look. Player one. Oh, only one player. Let me check. I don't want to be, you know, let me not blow it out. But someone had told me it was oh, only one player. guys, really? Someone please correct me if I'm wrong so I have a reason to get it. Xbox. Xbox nah, no. man, PS4, though. Get your PS4, yeah. folks. I mean, it's Some good. stuff's about to come out get, that you're going to be It's worth it for this get? year. Last year, it wasn't necessarily necessary to have a... It was in 2015, though. Yeah. Not in 16, but 15. Yeah. So that's why I got one in 15. Yep. It was worth but it. But I the, remember, I had to wait for the new uh, two terabyte drive stuff. Yeah. That was Very what true. I was waiting for. You were waiting for, for that storage, dude. I always wait on new systems, actually. That's the reason I waited on the you PS4, said, oh, too. OMG, you got to play. Only one one player? Only one player. Oh. Here, go to the Google tab. No, he's that. right if he has it. He knows, but... Guys, why... Why? It's been... It was one of the best things about it. Granted, it was a full whatever. I guess you get to take the... Is it cheaper? <laughs> like, no. no. it's not. Like, guarantee I guess you, you get to not. take the quest on your own. They got three different uh, DLCs already that you can go and get. Hmm. Nope. It has none. Sorry about the top to topic. Who is your favorite character in G.O.W. series? Um... That's kind of hard. I mean, it's hard not to say Marcus, but I'd probably yeah. have to actually say Dom. Because Dom, Dom does... Too, dude. Because <laughs> Dom is... Like, Dom is a little... Like, a more vulnerable version of Marcus. With more mm -hmm. to, lose. to lose. Yeah, as a wife. And he has... He's, you know, he's got more of emotional connection. He did. And, he, and, he, and then when, obviously, if people who haven't seen it, it's really old now. Gears 3, he dies. Dom dies. No. In Gears 3 to the... Uh, Dom! Dom! Yes, uh, Jorge oh, loves man. Dom too. So, like I said, you usually would think, "Yep, cries, tries not to cry <laughs> for real." Lays on every time oh, I man. see the scene now. Every oh, time. dude, and I have them with the uh, that purchase that I got every single Gears of War uh, awesome, for man. on digital. I have oh, it digitally, sweet. so now I have. It forever. Oh, so it got included in that. Cold Train, baby! Yeah, Cold Train's hard not to love too. The only reason I don't have as much, he's not my favorite, is there was not as much 
character development. He's actually got the least amount of character development. I agree. Of every you don't character. see that much of him. Uh, unless you read the books, for anyone who reads the books, there's actually that books. I, I have wow. actually only read one of the books. Uh, it only I, I think I read the most of it, and it was about the uh, the not the, the the wars with the Union or whatever the U R or you I can never remember the name. The they were the enemy bef that the uh, Cog had prior. Hmm. UIR, I think. Okay, UIR. Uh, yeah, but they, they were the enemy the Cog had prior to the Lotus showing up, where the humans were fighting each other and bombing each other, like we always do, because we're idiots. Mm -hmm. um, and it, they were they, 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 had, they had great stories. Check them out. Check them out. Definitely. But and, go, rolling back to TV real quick. Oh, uh, so rolling back around. Much. Man, we were talking earlier about the Marvel Netflix series and how good Daredevil Season 2 is. Luke Cage is another good one. And the and the and reason we're talking about this is guess what's coming out kind of unsuspectedly next month? Iron Fist. Iron Fist. Which a which, lot of people are not talking about, They're man. not talking about it, but it Iron seems Fist to not is be, a great He's a great character. character. The thing is, people don't understand man, Iron Fist. I mean, guys, we have the Heroes for Hire duo coming together. They're, like, and and granted, they're not the original Defenders. Everyone's hating on that. It's not the original Defenders. Well, none of the yeah, Defenders are. It's like the Defenders are generally a lot of different the teams real, are associated with that. Name. Not only that, even if you went with the original Defenders, all those licenses are owned by different people right now, and not by the. It would be like okay, you have Doctor Strange and Hulk are in the same universe, but then, and, you, but have then you have the have Silver, Silver Surfer, Surfer, and then Namor is nobody. Yeah. No, I, I guarantee you someone owns him. He's just not yeah, property. Yeah, it's not just... Like, I, guarantee, and I, I, I bet you that either, it's either Marvel, Marvel or some or third party. It's either one of the two, probably. But I would say... I don't think Fox. Probably Marvel. They really don't know him. That's why. They don't really know him. Dude, Iron Fist is a great character. And the He's thing about Iron Fist about is he was Ram. like introduced as more of like almost a sidekick to Luke Cage. But then he like became his own character... And as he developed more through different storylines, people like them. He really is liked. And, like, his powers are amazing. Well, he's like, a likable character, character, too. I'm not going to lie. Just... He's kind of an airheaded rich he guy is. that grew up not rich because he grew grows up in uh, Kun Lao, mm -hmm, right? Because he um, gets orphaned by the monks and then they train well, him. Or, well, yeah. He gets saved by saved by them yeah i mean it's like he gets saved by they them will they start them. talking well the thing is they should do that like they should be doing what legion's doing right now for hey which is they're releasing something almost every day now in the munch every January. single day they're posting like a clip or like a, a video piece or a video a, 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 a comic still. page a still. it's usually it's, a gift but it is even still and, and, and they're all like awesome and then none of them are like some big thing but every single one of them reminds me legion comes out in six days mm-hmm it looks like it's going to be weird, and like I don't know what the hell's going to. They'll go start on. talking about it after it comes out. Well, yeah, they didn't they... do that with Daredevil, and they didn't do that with Luke Cage either, which is weird because I feel like I was talking to him earlier, and I felt like Jessica Jones was kind of on the same level. It's like they, she wasn't talked about, to be and I think it might be Marvel's technique of saying these are lesser known characters. Just let the people come, let it get blown up by critics if it's good or bad, and more people will come and watch it. Either way, yeah. That's, that's generally right. what happens to those characters that just aren't really popular. But Daredevil was their first one, and Luke Cage had been popular for, from being in Jessica Jones. So it was like they blew those up because they knew that would be an opportunity. Well, and they're very good about kind of introducing and connecting those storylines so that, all right, these characters have either been introduced or kind of prefaced in some way. And, and, and you know, we say this about Luke and that, but the original Daredevil series had no trailers, I believe. Oh, no. No, it had trailers. It had some trailers, man. And I it remember had some because Netflix too. actually had started doing trailers Netflix, I think, was doing time. some heavy promo for that. I don't think Marvel was. I think Netflix was kind of like, we got Marvel on our system. And then Marvel was kind of like, you know, like, push it, Netflix. Like, I think Netflix was the one pushing oh, it. Oh, yeah, I'm not doubting their, that. I'm not doubting that originals. at all. But not only that, but that was right around the time, I feel like, at least, that Netflix was really pushing, pushing commercials mm -hmm. on the live stream. Yeah, stuff. they were. And that's the very, be... very first time I've ever seen them do that. Which, uh, Netflix has some really good shows on oh, their yeah. own. Oh, yeah. Yeah, great shows. Great, ones. great shows. 
besides uh besides those shows you know besides that legion like we said is coming out and that just looks like it's gonna be its whole next week we're definitely gonna talk a we're lot gonna about we're gonna we're gonna save it we talked um, a little bit about it last week unless someone really wants to chat up about uh david aller which i'm always happy always to happy to talk about david man david's always a crazy happy. guy <laughs> we are the wild and crazy, crazy guy <laughs> tie it into the movies oh man oh, and then that i love it because X, you know? I, that was why i did the age of apocalypse one two for the uh although that's days of future past i think i don't remember days that. of future past was a good comic so that, was, that one was that one's a different one though that one's the future movie one mm-hmm. um we finally kind of, and we've, we'd heard rumors about this before, but we'd only kind of got some kind of ish confirmation today about the new Marvel X-Men series. We talked about it last week. It was not necessarily too it, clear. It's a show kind of hit, I, I believe. I believe Fox wants it to happen. We don't know if it's going to happen. I don't think anybody has even, like, they don't have it I feel it like they anyone. have a, I don't know if it's necessarily 100% picked up. I think they're in talks, though. They're in talks. They're, they want it. They definitely want it, and they're trying to figure out how they can have it and what needs to be done, because there's all kinds of BS there. Yeah, I think the X-Men are starting to just, it, it can't be limited by films anymore. No, no, no. It, it can't. can't be limited. X-Men is huge. There are so many characters you want to touch on, develop. You have to have continuous episodes to develop all these characters. We didn't get that many, that much development, and then they tried to pop it in that last movie. Oh yeah, and it, and some of it was good, some of it was bad. The thing like, is, development like that is probably left for TV shows. It is for longer story I mean, arcs. Look with at how we're doing payouts. with Barry. You know, we get to see the development. How he becomes see how the he becomes flash, the flash, yep, how he gets his rogues gallery. Yeah, yep. that's what I loved about the first season is they were very good about being like, all right, we recognize that these are staple flash things that people want, want to, to see. see. They don't give a crap about plot half the time, guys. I'm not gonna lie, we are as viewers are greedy for what we want to see. And usually it's people getting beat up in stuff we've seen before. Exactly. And those are the shows that really do good. And that's why Marvel and DC have yep. have those a shows lot. on multiple oh, platforms yeah. that are really good. Yep. Uh, so the new show that might be coming on the way, though, for the X-Men is maybe a Runaways take. We've yeah, heard a little that's bit that's about a possible it. Possibly. And, I, and I think it would be nice to focus on the Runaways because we get a different set of characters. We get them in a different light. You know what I mean? It's not I just think it's the also same a different. It's also a different kind of characters. The Runaways the are runaways individually. Are... Mm-hmm. Specific. They're also like a cult classic. Like immediately the Runaways were popular as all get out. The Runaways were like, as soon as I read it even like, and I read it late, like they were awesome. It was like, oh, dude. The, and so, if you haven't read the comics of the Runaways, I don't mind ruining the show. I mean, the co- we, some of us read the comics. I mean, it's, like, it's they're years they're old now. They're yeah. ten years plus old on some of them. Uh, the Runaways is about a group of children who figure out that their parents are all supervillains, like these super secret supervillains in Los Angeles or something, and they try to like i guess they try to do the right thing or this whole this whole long story but they go out on their own and they run away right. yep and they become the heroes on their own yeah right? they did the runaways they do and they basically try to be defeat their parents what's up jonathan good to see you yes, man thanks, thanks for, for joining, joining in the, joining in sorry in the chat thank you yeah if we haven't shouted you out just let us know we'll, we'll hit yep. you back also, up definitely. oh i better check it i guess i haven't checked the, we'll uh, check the t- twitter real quick as well but oh, um, you have you know, hopefully the runaways time. does become a series what do you guys think would you like the the runaways Runaways. i mean like he was explaining the run we'll just kind of reiterate for anyone who just joined the runaways are a group of kids of a super secret villain society and these kids run away they they want to do the right thing they want to be heroes they don't want to use their powers for bad yep they they, they want to get away well and specifically they even learn that their parents are doing some crazy crazy, end of the world kind of stuff yeah like not even typical take over the world bad guys. It's stuff. like destroy the world. Like yeah. the world's gonna get blown a bit. Yeah, it's like crazy guys. <laughs> you know, like usual. Uh, but besides that, you know, that the, the, it's a great. Hey, com- Sabrina. Oh, welcome thank you to for the showing room. Up. You know, it's a great series. Both any of those, like check out any of the Runaway series. They're great. I hope they make this X Men. Well, that can't be an X Men Runaway series then, because they're not X Men. No, I, but that was a new. Se- that was another. Series that was that another they had series they were talking about. Ordering, about. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They were talking about Runaways and the X Men series. That's yeah, right. it was both of them side by side. That's right. So there should be. That, an there's a lot series. more information on that than there was on the X Men series. There is. 
Which is funny because the X-Men series, I think, is almost more certainly going to happen than the Runaway series is. Exactly. But, like, I think we want something different. I know I do. The thing I'll is, I want the them to... We need to start crowdfunding our what we want guys and stop relying on these giant studios exactly because just the money can get, get the it done money and get the people to do it and then mm. boom get it done yeah just get it done and even like you know supporting mm. individuals like in this communities who make then... a blank show you know what i mean just like make this like i would love to see it like a silver surfer or like there's a tons of uh, nova. Nova, nova nova deserves a show yeah. nova deserves a show definitely like there's <laughs> characters who could have a show and characters we might want shows for Nova deserves a show. Who guys. do you guys think deserves a show? Even if it's a character outside of Marvel, exactly. DC, like whatever. Like, I don't even... He's what? not even necessarily one of my favorite characters. He's just... Any any kind of character you, you guys think... think does. Who do you think deserves their own TV show? Like, there are a lot of characters that just get... Or a video game or movie, what have you. There are a lot of characters that just get underlooked and we oh, yeah. don't get to ever look into them that far because they're not... They're underexposed. They are. They're underexposed. Aqualad, and you don't, like... Yep. It, it's kind of crazy how it's... I will say, Robin is the most exposed sidekick in the comics. Oh, yeah. A lot of them sidekicks you see on Young Justice and shit, they don't get exposure like Robin. No, not... Not nearly. Like, all of them Robins? Like, if you if you say Robin, I mean all of them Not yet. Yeah, every like, single Robin. Every Robin. Gets like, every Robin piece. becomes a, a hero in their own right. Uh, I think she, she's watching from the Marvel Entertainment Universe group, but thank you, Rosalinda Mar Ma Magana or Mahana. Yeah, then, thanks for tuning in. It, right? But thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate the uh, the support. Yeah. Keep Defenders coming, coming up, man. Defenders, speaking of Iron Fist and all these other shows. <sighs> yeah, Defenders, Defenders, Defenders looks good. That's getting heavier promotion than Iron Fist, but it's going to bring everyone together. That's why. And I think the other thing is, like, the the amount of kind of publicity from the four of them have you have you read the Entertainment Weekly article spread about this? I hadn't. So check this out. The Defenders is basically going to be a show where you know the four of them come together. They don't. Ex they're not exactly like into it. At, for I a would while. assume yeah, they're not exactly uh, oh, into maybe, it. You know what? Maybe I did. Well, here, but go here's, ahead. Here's, go and tell. Yeah, tell. yeah. So the so each of them is starting out at a point where they're kind of like at a. Not a bad, a horrible. Well, Luke's in a they're horrible situation. They're just not in a good spot. They're not. They're, they're not, not in good spots. Luke's, Luke's going behind bars. Jessica's Jessica, going no, behind bars well, too, isn't she? No, she's not. Really? Jessica actually, you know, defeated her villain, and then after that happened, she um gets a little bit more popular. Um, things start that she starts getting calls and shit, and which I thought I thought she was in trouble though, cause she did you see the end of? No, I read this in the. Uh, maybe something happens in between. Uh, there there might be something happening in between. Maybe that's where she. I think meets it's the Matt. fact that she's a PI, and that's something gets her off. Maybe yeah, it's something, something like that. Because those I actually did watch Jessica Jones mm -hmm. for well. I watched, watched until and didn't watch. Eight. <laughs> I watched till the end. And Black I Lightning to CW thoughts. Black Lightning though that. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? I want to see it just because I like Black Lightning. Yeah, and, I, and we character. don't see that much of him. No, like, honestly, no. You really He's like don't. Blue Beetle or some of those other just kind of like unnoticed, characters. unnoticeable characters. Yeah, like they just get pushed in the margins because they're not the original seven. That's <laughs> the problem with, with DC. DC. They, the original seven are it. That's like, it. That's like it. they made me a popular, for... which is what they're with, with Rebirth. They're doing differently though. Because there they, are people getting their own titles. Which like, is fine. Hood. Well, and they've like, done that stuff before, don't get me wrong. And they and don't get me wrong, they're doing it very well and better now. Well, I guess New 52 started it. They did. But even more so than that, I'd say they've done that kind of stuff before, but never to the point they're doing it now, now making it a point. Mm -hmm. I feel Go like Marvel and DC are learning from each other. They're like, they all right, I'm tired of not losing on this front to the other person. Like Mar uh, Marvel. Also, thank a lot you, of Cy Kennedy, of course. Yeah, thank you. A lot of the Marvel characters are getting their own spreads. They're getting their own like lines and series. I mean, Dark Maul from Star Wars. I started this comic so today. So he got his own line. He did. Uh, he got his own line. Now there's a Justice League Power Rangers crossover. Like, there's a lot going on. We'll talk about Justice that in the League. comics. Yeah, we will get to the we'll more get to the of the, those in the comics. As far as Black Lightning, I would say yes. Yes, definitely. Definitely more Black Lightning. And uh, honestly, uh, for everybody else who who's watching, hopefully maybe give us your favorite Black Lightning moment. Yeah, if you know about Black Lightning. Please, I'd things. love some like something to go read You know that I don't know about. Because right. I'm sure there's a ton that I don't know about Black Lightning. Like, that's just life. You can't and we would love to know more about oh, it. Oh, we're what always we we're reading every day, trying to catch up. We're watching stuff every day, every trying, day to, catch trying up. to catch up. 
uh, and we're you know we write and we do this read, we video and edit and we yep. uh and, and we live stream and we yeah like you said we read we try to keep caught up and we really do try to talk with you guys on this like we really like i said we love it when you guys talk that's the best part of our day exactly. the more comments we, we get, want we, we the, like the part and not even the more the comments, comments the more the more we can have a conversation like when you talk we're trying i know there's lag and i'm sorry it's probably like 30 seconds and we before. are and we are comic convos you know we want to conversate Conversate. we want we want you that guys is not to a, that is not a comic con it's a comic conversation exactly probably and probably. then in terms of shows um what have you guys been watching? Yeah, tell us. Tell us some of the sh- series you've been watching that you've been we really, really loving. Has anybody caught up on Arrow? Like, I'm not officially all the way caught up. I'm about in season three now, and I'm still not liking it too much, guys. Like, it's just kind of lagging for me. Mm-hmm. And I know a lot of people are like, well, these I'm, seasons are up and down. I, I and applaud down, you like, for eh. making it past season one, sir. I'm still working through it. <laughs> yeah, he's not that in the Arrow, but Flash. <laughs> that's love a, it. I'm, that's st- a I'm, all, I'm caught up to the... not to the current episode but to the current season i'm i'm a couple episodes in oh are you watching the crossovers then? i have not gotten the crossovers i've seen the crossovers but i haven't gotten there from each individual because one story. of them one of them is a flash episode yeah well they are you know, that's how they work mm-hmm. i've seen those the episodes to watch because they're kind of important well not only that they're kind of self-contained for the yeah most part. they are they got their own plot and stuff yep which is fine and that's how you should do a crossover mm-hmm. you shouldn't have those plots being too intertwined now exactly you know, stuff gets crazy but uh, I loved it. I can't remember exactly the last one I said, but he's checking out. Basically, it's the, the it's dang it, Barry. <laughs> Seriously, dang it, Barry. It's messing up the timeline. It is legit, and you get to see that. Of course, obviously, you see new. You get to see Jesse Quick and uh, Wally West. Mm-hmm. And Wally West is black now, which Marvel which he is in the comics too in New Fifty Two. Yep. yep. Well, we have both Wally Wests now, though. Yeah, yeah, we do. We have two, we have two Wally Wests in, um, mm-hmm. in which is, the comics, which is cool. Really cool. You should have seen when they met. Yeah, that right? That was great <laughs> if you guys haven't read the comic. Oh, my goodness. Black Lightning says, sorry if that was a spoiler. Oh, wait, is it coming to Black is wait, is Black Lightning a thing? Hold is on, it? we're going to have to wait. Google real quick, guys. We we like to keep up with the stuff, too. So, like, anytime. So, well, yeah, you... whenever you guys give us news. Black Lightning drama. To the CW. What? Drama eyes. Eyes move. Hmm. Black drama eyes. Okay, so it's talking about it. I'm not... Is it 100%? I think they're just talking about it. It looks like they're saying that Black Lightning a uh, Black Lightning drama is going to be on the channel, dude. Wow, that would be nice. <laughs> Lightning may strike three times with a third produced comic book series launched. It says May. Is, well, on, the the mo- that- is on the move and likely to land a spot so we're likely looking we're at likely this to get that from, wow yeah if you could send us a link or anything size si, yes that. please drop a link yeah no oh there's no goodness. problem basically we ask that maybe you know you message us personally on the page uh so that no one else gets spoilers because we don't know if they want them but we are personally always just trying to learn new stuff. Yeah, we always want and new stuff content, like that. Guys. I feel like it's just news. That's yeah, not a spoiler. That's fresh, and it's like yeah. we really want that fresh, up to date stuff. Oh yeah, we are. We are all about freshness. And even if we, if thank it's something you to we our missed, loyal it's five like, yes. viewers. Thank you. Yeah, we, thank we, you we to the loyal ones. Yeah, oh, yeah. Thank you to the and thank you to everybody who's not obviously too. Thank you for coming. And thank you everyone. <laughs> but thank you guys seriously. And it, for anyone who even just hops on for a second and decides you don't like it. Thanks for watching, guys. Exactly. We we appreciate you at least giving it a look. That's enough for us to be happy. To be happy and enjoy the conversation. The yeah, the conversations are great. We're getting good views this week again. Our comments are pretty decent. We're getting people to come and talk. Punisher. Punisher is coming, oh baby. Oh, my goodness. Punisher is going to be the cast such a good firm. series. They have oh, my the God. It's going to be such a good firm. series. And, like, dude, it was great in Daredevil And we talked two. about this last time, too, but I'm sure I, we caught, talked about the the kill count on the Punisher and his my yeah. I mean he had a pretty big at part though in that in Daredevil though that was a very major role in the series he did and then what happened at the end is like damn Ooh. the it, it left Daredevil you got to admit by too, yeah not only that you got to admit that uh and sorry to anyone who disagrees like obviously if you don't agree that's up to you but uh he also had the most powerful scene I'd say in that entire saga in the series. entire sagas yeah mm-hmm. he did that was oh my God, it was shook a, the heck out of me. It, it made he won't portrayed. Spoil. It, I don't yeah. know if anybody. Oh, no, still I'm not gonna it. say it, but I'm just gonna say he portrayed that character and that situation so well. So well. He landed the character its own. John, he did that. I mean, maybe they got 
they wrote i'm sure the writing was a big part of that too well you got but the acting comes in well it does and point. the background research have you seen his page have you seen he's posing with Holy. punisher comic books constantly mm -hmm. wearing accurate punisher garb constantly i'm not daredevil if you haven't read, that's there. That's not even the extra CW Dude, show was talking about. Dude, up. Exactly. My Black Flash comment. Also, sorry, I didn't see. And that's Black not Flash. even the extra. Oh, sorry, it was right under uh, caught up with Legends. Oh man, he's getting a lot of comments in. Uh, uh, Legends of Tomorrow from DC. A Bioshock show. Oh man, we missed a couple. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. W oh wow. They're starting to talk about it after coming out a Bioshock show. That'd be interesting, Jorge. Sorry if we missed Bioshock that. Bioshock show. Before the game, huh? we're not caught up with the legends. I did. I saw the news side about uh, Black Flash making appearance on Legends, but I'm trying to catch up to Legends still, so I have not seen it. As I haven't well watched as Legends Flash. at all. I'm several. I'm several episodes behind every uh, DC thing just because I've been having a lot of stuff in life, trying to catch up on. Same with all the the Marvel shows too. Even Legends of Shield, I'm not caught up on, etc. Yeah, I mean, you got like I mean, Milo, but... understandably, man, we just want to keep on the map. You know, we just want to watch them. Oh see yeah, what's we're going enjoying on. them, and we're trying to get the stories go at our own pace. Yep. And so we we do often watch a lot of these, and are trying to cut up. You're not going to ruin every anything for us by telling us we're still watching. No, no, it let us know. Be fine. Shoot, keep catch us up if you like. I mean, yeah, feel free I'll, to I'll let us know. We're good. To um, and uh, you know, like we're we're definitely looking forward to how that's going to go with the. You know, as we, when we get there, we want to see how how we want to hear good things. Exactly. When we hear good things about shows, it encourages us obviously to go watch it. And speaking about like some of the Marvel Netflix universes, one that's mm. coming up that's going to be a Marvel TV is um the Cloak and Dagger show. Yeah, that's gonna. And, and, and we don't, don't know. It's great. Yeah, for those who don't know Cloak and Dagger, man, they're such a great duo. And they're so Cloak, unique. Going going a little bit of background here. Cloak is like a guy, a man who came from a pretty bad background. Uh, he he ended up dropping out of school and just kind of got grew up and kind of just got by. And uh, he met Dagger, who was this rich white girl, and they came together and they got into the situation where they were kidnapped. They're kidnapped and put onto a boat together, and they're like, you know, this this might be their last night. They're a part of some weird experiment, mm -hmm. and then they got their powers from this experiment. Everyone else died, but Cloak and Dagger survived, and they had powers that intertwined with each other. Yeah, and the Cloak weird... has a dark power that is a, like very kind of like a spiritual it, darkness power. Yeah, they talk has. about it being like something from the like the dark the dimension. dark dimension or something. Yeah, like and that. he has this whole dimensional thing, and basically his powers include darkness and. Uh, Teleportation, teleportation movement stuff. he has a couple other like shadowy phasing. stuff yeah, yeah like a, they're, they're not stuff. very like hard like dagger on the other hand manipulates light energy blades mm -hmm. and one of the cool things about their backstory that she's it, a good offense he's a good defense yeah that's what it comes that's, down to yeah, that is a good thing but even besides that one of the cool things that we often uh or people often don't cover on the thing is the reason they're interesting characters is the experiments that were on them were with drugs yeah and so they are one mm -hmm. of the old first characters to deal with drug addiction mm -hmm. and which is not and a specifically big... drug addiction not not forced upon yourself drug addiction forced upon by like a medical it's supposed to be in like an amalgam kind of a, uh you know facade for the medicine you receive when you're in the hospital yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and being addicted okay. off of that mm. as opposed to be doing it by choice and starting during your own blah, blah, blah. and you know what's kind of crazy Ooh, about there's an awesome surprise on the catch up for arrow thank you side thank We're you not, Cy. and hopefully that's good for leo who's about a season behind so oh yeah I'm... okay i'm gonna pick back up on arrow because you said that thank you see that's the kind of those are one of the things we like because of that i'm about on of... season three and man i watched season two and i'm <sighs> I'm just, it's hard to go on, guys. It is. It's so hard to go on. Uh, it's something about Arrow is just hard to go on for me. So I'll get caught up back on it, okay? Okay. Yep. And uh, I think that's about it for TV shows. That was another one. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, um, we had a little bit to talk, a little bit to talk about Infinity Wars, but we, we got through that the, as much as we wanted to go into. Yeah. Now we can slide right into our next section, which, which is games, everybody. We were yep. talking a lot about it earlier. I mean,. Yes. Gears of War is an amazing game, we which were talking, Axel has it loaded up on his Xbox. It's, it's literally, awesome. And then I have Mortal Kombat in the disc drive, which is great. nice. Uh, and then we were also talking about a little bit earlier the Switch coming Switch. out next month. Uh, with Who Mario has it pre-ordered? I mean, I I wish I had it pre-ordered. I, I don't have it. Man, it's out of stock. Is it already out I'm of stock? I'm sick of Nintendo not coming up with enough stuff. Here's the thing. What? I, I, that doesn't make more demand. That happened with the NES Classic. That, that doesn't make more. Thing. Well, that one was more. 
I don't know about that one either. What's uh, the point of limiting your stock? That one, dude, here, let me tell you guys something about the Nest Classic. There are a lot more people that wanted it than anticipated. And then what ended up happening is the jackass people who wanted to resell it bought everything out. So the people who wanted it didn't get it because everybody who wanted to resell it and got no greedy. Willing to pay, and yeah. now nobody's willing to pay three, four hundred dollars. Nintendo's gonna have to come down on that because they're recouping more than Nintendo was on the console. And the other problem with it is with simulators and controllers the way they are now, especially like VR and stuff. Someone's gonna simulate these in uh, what's it? A enhanced reality. You'll be able to play uh, these games in enhanced reality with a VR system. I guarantee you. Mm -hmm. Which very would be very sick. Soon. It would be awesome. I've seen people playing Tetris and Donkey Kong like mm -hmm. that already, and I want to play it like that. You know who we should go mess with? We want to fuck around with that is Jeff. Jeff is all over that. Merkel, really? I guarantee he's all over that VR stuff. He was working on it while we were in school. Wow. So is that kid Joey? I don't know if you Joey know is, Joey yeah, Rebecca. Yeah, yeah, Joan. I do know Joey. I love being in the. The thing everyone's doing stuff. Have you seen the stuff that uh Corey Coffin has been doing with his uh, mm -hmm. he's I, I have him as a friend, he's been doing a lot of uh Max Live audio system wiring and it oh. looks beautiful. It looks like he's gotten excellent. You should see the pictures, it looks like a, tor a tapestry of probably upwards, probably of 64 to 128 uh different IOs. So you know, this guy's a audio genius. Uh, he's great, man, he's doing good. But man, uh, in terms of video games, yeah, we 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 touched a lot about it a lot about a lot of the video games earlier. But, but some of the other gonna... ones we were trying to roll into was I know you wanted to talk about Overwatch. Overwatch. I wanted to watch, talk about Kingdom Hearts, kind nice. of just some different ones. And so Overwatch got, I don't know whose game. You know, that's the thing. When you say someone gets an award anymore, you need to say by who. But right. I'm pretty sure it got Game of the Year this year. Uh for somebody here in ireland wow sire in ireland welcome wow thank you so much oh, for hello watching, from man. ireland we appreciate dude. it xbox one still goes for 300 to 350 euros crazy expensive really here here it's not that cheap either they're uh, not that cheap man they're about three they're about Two, 250 to 300 yeah. a pop and then if you want like a package yeah you know, if you want to get a nice one it's more too like the, the super fancy ones or whatever but there, you know, but you do what you got to do for your love. <laughs> exactly. You know, we spend this money, not, not just because of the money, but because, because we love it. Yeah, Shoot, we, love, we it. love this. This is an investment that we enjoy. And that's, oh, the thing about wow. It was CGR's videos. community pick. What? Yeah. Overwatch. Oh. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, it was the electronic gaming In monthlies. monthlies. Okay. It looks like it's got 11 of them. 11 it's the euro, euro gamers, gamers which speaking of overwatch i'm about to go stream the lol game Keep awards up, fo formerly spike hey video game awards. about to go stream though That's hey awesome, go man. sweet man go stream go that stream, go it stream up. overwatch it, man i might join you i did that the other day if you guys check it i also do streaming for video games from yeah, time to time on that. twitch at axel grieve you know slash x grieve invite him uh, or hey later the game awards they which were originally the spike video that's game for the awards. original that's like 500 us dollars oh Oh my god. That's goodness. a ton, dude. Dang. That's tough. Game Informer. Wow. There's a really some, Yeah. It looks like Overwatch has had won just a lot more than even I thought. Like I knew it had gotten a significant one. Like the I probably thought it got game spots one day. It's blown up right now, man. Yeah, everybody's and it's a great game. And here's the thing, they made a great revolution when they added in these random game pick modes, mm. which are basically like so you have the basic version of the game, which is a six v six MOBA. Mm basically where you fight on these maps to control a point or a or escort a payload basically hmm. there's no kill uh they but they also have side games winter games and events and that's what i wanted to talk about was overwatch currently has the year of the rooster event going on where you can get special skins items and play the special game mode which That'd is basically a, called catch the rooster and it's a, hmm. their capture the flag and it's a cool thing if you haven't tried uh catch the rooster yeah what's that all about it's the same thing it's literally just capturing the flag but you know it's that yeah. that's for the they, geez i'm sorry about that side for that five hundred. that is that that's just that's harsh man that hurts me i'm sorry man 
Are we causing that? Is that us doing something? Like, did America do that to you? I really hope we didn't. I Freaking swear, though, America's so been messing up lately. Well, we're sorry. Because off in the office. We're, but we won't go into politics too we're not, far. That's not our that's, thing. That's not our thing. But um, I think Jorge put his username on here. Oh, cool. Anti Sniper Kuma XBL. That's Xbox will... Live. Anti Sniper Oh, he's Kuma. on Xbox. Dang it. Oh, are you not on Xbox I, Live? So I'm a multi platform gamer. I need to get more games, but that's the problem. They need to start selling games on every platform. I know it's not their money thing, but we, I want it. Even if I have to pay games more. Are like, pay, out, like, man. Make, you just like make them. me pay a hundred. It's not that way, though. Like I'm saying, I have Overwatch. For the, PC. for the PC, you want not, it to, you want to be able to cross into your Xbox, right? And, just, and I'll pay extra. I'll wouldn't pay. that be awesome? The the problem is contracts and money. You know who does have it though? Gears of War, hmm. Xbox, and uh, Windows Ten are now fully integrated. Well, that's because it's they're both under Microsoft. I know, but I'm just saying, at least they did something right with that. Like, there are problems with every game system mode, and like, I love oh, well. Overwatch for a change of. For a change of though, I'm playing a preview game called G Gigantic. A oh, mix that of Overwatch like and League of Legends. That's pretty like good. Be great. Does wow. it have like I also play League Sai. Uh does it have like a lot of uh is it like tower based then and then can and can yeah, or is it more like know. control tower based? Like that'd be interesting. I'd love to see that. So, cause I, I've also played a little bit of Smite, which is three is my kind of what I would say is like the mix of league and overwatch except for it doesn't have uh it doesn't have control point stuff wow and it's got a little bit different of a system i mean i played them all i played heroes of new earth i've played that sounds really tight though oh yeah man i've i've played a lot of i've spent a i lot need of to this. play some more i just don't have a computer built up it's, and that's what i, I did do. have to build and i built that because i had the home studio and i this is what i invested in when i was younger i didn't have money for anything but this and drugs and this <laughs> mostly that <laughs> that mostly because you know these this man being a nerd's expensive it is isn't it i have a shirt yeah, that says buy anime buy, buy to tell get your kids anime because then they won't have any right, money to buy drugs because i was like spending it on like oh. consoles and stuff like that and buying little little things here and there Even, comics all right see, i spend movies, however much you hear for my blu-rays yep. all that music Bo uh everything here there's not enough like there's that. not enough time of that you yeah. could never possibly get it to it all nope and even now, like, I'm using the Marvel Unlimited. I still can't get to all the series I want to read. Same. It's <laughs> impossible, man. It's impossible. It's control point based. It's free on Xbox. Okay, well, I'm, I'm buying it out. Gigantic. You said free. Sweet. Is it also just a question? Is it a Steam based one site? Because then I can get it on Xbox and wow, PC. Oh, it is control point based. Wow. Maybe PS4 too. It's That's free on sweet. Xbox. I, oh, let me, I'm going to check maybe it out. Maybe PS4? Quick. That's cool. Let's check it out. I'm going to check it out. MOBA third-person shooter, unforgettable experience of five-on-five -five PvP action. Wow. Hey, thank you, Is Sai. this coming to PS4? Let me Please check tell it. me it is. I'm going to let you know right now. Play the beta first on Xbox One and Windows 10. I don't have Windows 10. Dang it. Well, you can get it on Xbox One. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can still play on Xbox One. Dude, it looks great. It does look like a mix. It looks very... Even the artwork kind of looks like a the mix between the two. artwork looks clean. Well, so this character reminds me of Annie with the soldier. Definitely. But the styles of these characters are very much more not... What is League that? Legend. Dragon. And another dragon. Wow. Tiny dragon. So. Yeah, this looks great. I uh, I might actually think... I don't know if I'm going to become a founder. The heroes. The heroes. I think that's a donation, bro. I'm sure it is. That's usually what those are. Oh, wow. They've already got... What is a that? A nice like? little... 10? 20, 20 probably, I'd say. No, no, no. That's no, two no. rows. Yeah, I'm trying to see. What is that? 16? Yep, 16. Okay. Voden, Vadasi, Griselma. Mm, oh, yeah. These look cool. have to find a way to check this out. I'd love For to honor! <laughs> For honor and glory! <laughs> Okay, now he's gone. All right, so all right. Later, Jorge. Have fun for Overwatch. Yeah, enjoy that, man. Try the new modes. Get some new skins, buddy. We're doing good. Do 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 we're doing good tonight. I, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying fun. this, guys. Um, How about you guys? What what you guys think? That was let oh, us yeah. know. Yeah, please tell us and also any games. Like if anybody besides Sai has stuff to let us know about for what games are out and cool and what we should try for either any system. We we're, obviously we're always trying to check out and do new stuff. 
We're Always. trying to build this page up and become, you know, a real page and a real thing and make this a regular a regular occurrence. And, yeah, and we see if we can do bigger that. and better things. Like, mm -hmm. we want to get space eventually and bring in people and do things, maybe even on stream, do things and talk about things. I've been playing stuff. Arc 2, time, time consuming. Oh, though. I bet. I've heard a lot of good things about Arc. Yeah, Arc, sur Arc Survival, right, Sai? Uh, I've heard good things too. But I've, I've also heard time consuming, and I just. Grinding is the thing that's hard. Thank you for the share, Brad. That was a, well, much appreciated. Much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, you know, besides, you know, that the uh, Overwatch stuff, there was also a little going on in League of Legends stuff uh, that they had done their updates. They've obviously been on their new season all month, but they did. They are doing their uh, lunar uh, stuff too and they're hmm. selling skins i believe in packs and they might even be doing limited time stuff really so i just tell people who play league to give them an update on that if you haven't hopped on in a minute for honor is the game you should check it out okay thank i think i have heard of for honor that's the viking one correct hey thank you guys is so that much not, for all is this that not sharing the, uh, yeah thank you so much seriously 13 shares dude wow, wow. i guys. need to update my thing because it's got 11 for me but i'm sure there's more now uh, but thank you, Jorge. I do know Fronor is that like kind of Viking slash medieval based one that's kind of like oh, COD, right? Serious? Where it's capture points and kill people with arrows. Ooh, that'll be I good. only know because I've seen Let's Plays of it and etc. But I have not uh, I think heard it's that, that one. one. I, I I'd have to check it. I'm obvious. I'm sure it's not free because it looks too good to be free. It looks very like it has pretty good graphics. And it looks like it has great graphics. I heard it looks so good. Everything looks so good nowadays. Yeah. Everything looks freaking amazing because they've got the 3D tracking and the technology just keeps leaping ahead of its time. Like, yeah, because I haven't checked out any of those, but I've been hearing a little bit of talk. Oh about man, it. that's actually I'm so glad I reloaded the page. It's doing so much better. Oh, good, good to hear. Uh, but aside, yeah, from aside from, from the, uh, I've I've been doing like I said, I did some seven days of die play. I've had some friends go through 49 now hmm. and did, you know, got more of me. Bikes Last one, lol. Clash Royale is an awesome mobile I, game. I've heard of that. I've had friends trying to get me yeah, to play. Same. I have and I just can't to go waste. Into that. I, it's not even a waste. It's just I can't spend any more of my time. We like between me and Leo both between us. We have so many entrepreneurial. Very busy. With like if we're not making of something, we're doing something or mm -hmm. working to you know. Obviously, we have bills to pay too, and uh, and we're building. We're just building up right now. Yeah, we're so trying to make our own things. And and this obviously we're loving this. I mean, we're on episode five, yeah, and we have we've some got good participation. Yeah, still. and I feel like we may have had more. You know, maybe not like getting so high but we've got such consistent good viewership from you guys we like, do and, we and have comments, comments like thank too. you so much jorge and side tonight you guys are the champs yeah you really Especially, are and andrew i mean there was everybody tonight's really tyler chimed talking. in there's all and this is really what it's supposed to be for if you're just chilling on you know we're on here for probably an hour and a half, hour hour two i guess but an hour and a half is usually where we're at if we're talking with you obviously we'll talk more exactly but uh you know we're and we are right now we're having so much fun uh, so I figure, you know, we talked about the um, Catch the Rooster Overwatch League. Uh, Leo, how is you? You've done it now for a couple weeks. How is Kingdom Hearts two? Man, Kingdom Hearts two point eight. Okay, here's my thing. I ha I didn't play Dream Drop Distance, and I know for some of you 3DS owners, you probably played Dream Drop Distance before, mm -hmm. so it's not too much different. But I'm enjoying like another kingdom hearts game i haven't played dream job distance so i'm exploring these worlds like i'm enjoying it i'm in the tron world right now and right, i'm just enjoying every this, moment yeah. but the thing about kingdom hearts is like i'm one of those gamers that has to explore the whole entire every thing. snap I have to every, get pick every up, treasure chest every, yep. i have to try to beat find every, every enemy clue, beat every yep. enemy oh and i'm definitely one of those people where i'm like okay the level requirement for this world is 12 I'm gonna get to like 13 or 14 Before to have a bit of a, yep. a yeah upper hand, so I yep. won't have too much how, trouble. How high did you get your gummy ship? Mm, all the way, Max. Just about. Yeah, I figured about there. It's a little hard to get it all the way up because mm -hmm. it's so exp not just like expensive, but finding all the good pieces and stuff. Dude, I've been trying. I've been grinding hard on collecting. I like, get the honestly, new one. It's great. Mm -hmm. I bet it's so awesome. And there's and there's also tie-in games that Aqua's in. So if you guys don't know who Aqua is. She's a character from the prequel series who is um, one of the original Keyblade wielders along with two others who learned the Keyblade oh, cool. arts from another, from a, um, a master. That's sweet. Um, and there was basically, it, it stems back, dude, quite a bit. Like, if you guys don't know the backstory, 
Um, there's basically two guys, Xehanort, and then the other dude. I can't oh. remember his name for some reason. Thank you so much, sir. I'll break oh, Thank no you problem. so much, Sai. See you later. So, it's 345. Thanks wow. for staying up Thanks so late. Thanks for staying up and uh, yeah. talking with us, And like man, I said, if, if you ever can't catch it, feel free to catch it on the page. Like the page, and it'll be recorded for you there, buddy. Let's see. We got Ala Yusuf. Good to see you. Keep it, keep it up, guys. Love this page. Any game suggestions? I'm tired of God of War. Uh, what are, uh, so wait, he's wait. playing PS. No, that's a girl. She is. Or she is playing. She just sorry. came in. Just sorry, came sorry in. if I'm missing anyway. Just I'm just trying to see what system she's playing on, so I know what to recommend. Yeah, what system are you playing? Are you on PS4? Are you on PC? I mean, I assume with God of War, she's on PS4. PS4. Yeah. yeah. Well, PS4, like I was saying, the the best game that's really come out for a little while is the new Red Dead. That's a really good one. And, did it uh, come out? Shit. Yeah, I think. It, when did it come out? I mean, it's like the new Red Dead. I think came I out. I had it reserved. <laughs> did it? <laughs> no. Yes, I had it reserved. I don't know if it came it out. It hasn't come out yet. May I'm talking 18. about when okay. it's coming out. <laughs> okay, I'm like, that's not out yet. I had it reserved. No, the new Red Dead looks like it's going to be really good. That's I, one that's I, really good I believe one Battlefield's also on PS4. Battlefield it's a great one. game. Oh, great game. Battlefield I'm 1 absolutely is sure. excellent. She said PS4, yes. Okay. Yep, yep. So, Battlefield 1 is an excellent title. Definitely get it. I, it took me a while. I, I guess, hesitated, but I Titanfall finally got too, it. Right? Yeah. Hmm? Titanfall 2, yeah, yeah. Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2 is great. Yep. Uh, I'm also, to I'm, a, just I'm also just... Uh, me, personally, I've been a lot... Of, I've been on uh, Kingdom Hearts. I've been on Skyrim. Um, I've been on Grand Theft Auto. Like I've been kind of on some of the older games, but I've been enjoying them a lot. I've also been um, really, really looking forward to like the new Red Dead. Yeah, and other I'm games so that are really that. coming up. And yeah, Titanfall. Those 2, big titles and... that, especially the multi-platform. That's the thing, though. Here's my thing about that: if you are going to have a title on multiple platforms, make it cross-platform. Well, the, my thing about it is, like, for I know if there's a handful of us PS players that are just like, come out with fucking Kingdom Hearts three. I mean, yeah. Like, uh, but I, I mean, actually, here's the thing. I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting. That I'm, will, I am a, a PS4. potential PS4 player who's waiting for Kingdom Hearts. 3. Literally, when it comes out, I have no choice but to either wait, have, get my check, or wait and sell something. I don't know if any buy. of any of you have seen this, but Kingdom Hearts three popped up in my email as an option to purchase or what have you on Amazon. It was. I like, clicked the yeah. link, and it, I went to a date. The date was December twenty seventh. I freaked out. But I was like, hold on, let me remember, this is Square Enix, and Amazon requires dates. So uh, they put a faulty date in. Uh, this is a placeholder. They haven't announced it. It's a placeholder. Those jerks. Those, I hate to say that, but it, it is. A little and Final Fantasy VII, I mean, when's that Final remake going to come out? Yeah, that was, that was, I heard pretty good from a friend that it was a mix of, like, Devil May Cry and uh, previous Final Fantasy. Have you played that? No, but I had heard from Are you friend. talking about XV? That might be not seven. Yeah, that's yeah, the most recent. Yeah, sorry. Fifteen. I was, I was, I was just latching onto the most recent thing you said, but it was fi the most recent Final Fantasy for those looking for other things to play. Mm -hmm. Was supposed to be really good for the. It play was style. really good. PlayStation Four exclusive. I will say that's one of those ones that the reasons I was thinking about getting a PS Four, and mm -hmm. I was like, eh. Most definitely. Uh, so. Unless someone has more to ask or more to give for games, uh, we're gonna kind of switch over a little bit here. We're doing our graphic right novels, and graphic and novels, comics. comics. Yep. Um, upcoming series. Yeah. What did you you wanted to talk about? Walking Dead, I think. The Walking Dead just literally the other day finished off the Whisper arc, wow. the original start of it. Which, for those who know what's going on and are caught up to that arc, know it's a huge deal. And know that stuff's going down right now that is going to have huge impacts on how the story is currently going. Mm. It, I mean, it it's the same. The messed up part is people who don't like the series. Thanks are not for the be suggestions. We'll definitely try some of these games. Appreciate it. Yeah, no hey, problem. We love to talk with you. And if we find something else, we'll let you know. Oh, well, Spider Man's going to come out. Yeah, Spider Man is actually coming out in March, I think. Yeah, it's coming out pretty. It's soon. Coming out in March, and I'm definitely going to snatch that up as soon as it comes I might out. I get it for that too. Dang it. I just need that. Looks game. so good. It looks like the best Spider Man game that's ever going to come out. Even better than, than the PS original. Really? If it's it, better than that game, then I will buy it. It literally looks I will ask so you clean, next. Dude. I will ask you when it comes out. If it's better, I will you know buy I'm it. You know, I'm going to get it the because day. Because I, that, I actually got to say, that Spider Man game probably got me into video games. Like, I liked video games before that, but that game but that made game me a was so good because it was a great game that well, came out for PlayStation. And not only that, it and was I challenging. Had, yeah, it, it was. was not easy to it beat. Wasn't, it wasn't a Crash again. Bandicoot. It wasn't a, um, it wasn't a Spiral, if you will. No, it, it had was a like, lot of different stuff going and, on. And, and those were 
puzzles in themselves, but like it wasn't as hard. And no, what people no. don't understand is like video games is a bunch of puzzles, especially when we were children. Oh yeah, like there was, shoot, it was all it wasn't Link easy, man. And freaking Mario puzzles and it was freaking... like shoot that. Dude, Some there were games some games that were heck. all puzzle, like because they were just like, well, we got Legend of Zelda. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, that, but it had everything. It had everything include. All right, so it had movement. That was great. It had some of the best movement of its time with the oh, swing. Definitely. There was no one who could compete. And the free world movement at the time was probably on par with Grand Theft Auto. It was literally like so nice to be able to actually you could move, move around through, and you could move, move through, through New, York. New York. Yeah. Yeah. Freely. 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 In the clouds. Like there was no, nothing really. You just don't hit the ground. But besides that. It was your was, oyster, yep. oyster, and your you had judgment. to go find stuff, and you had to go do stuff, and you had to beat people up, and there was storyline and plotline that connected. There were great villains. There was cheat codes. There were, it had everything. It had everything, everything. Everything. I mean, it's just like it was what we want, what we want now, and we had a piece of it as a child. It was like we want that yep. open world experience, be able to explore, go wherever, do different missions, you know. And then they came out with san andreas on ps2 and obviously like that blew up you know it was like oh yeah well, now we gotta have open world we gotta oh, have yeah there's no way not around. to have to open world um but, but 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 besides the point you know that that's we want it it's coming eventually it's on the way oh yeah we, the, but you know video games are always cut and and that's the other thing guys if you're not if you don't have to be a pc gamer to check out a lot of the stuff now because it's going straight to xbox almost immediately which i'm happy about it's the line. It it it's making the line between PC gaming very indistinct. Exactly, which is fine with me because that means that you we're getting everyone's getting to enjoy these games. No matter what is, console you're on, exactly, you know? and it's great. Uh, and so you got to check out anything new that's kind of coming out that you get a chance to. And if you are a PC gamer, obviously you got to check out anything you want. But there's so much cool stuff coming out all the time. I just saw something called "We Must Go Deeper" really? on on a yeah. And I saw you like the page the other day, and I don't believe I hadn't. I can't believe I hadn't liked it on Facebook already, but it's because I follow their website. Is the uh, Rooster Teeth page? I always watch for Let's Plays and things. Cause they same, try to same. And up. I was like, I can't believe that I didn't like them. It's just one of those things that was like slipped my mind. They're just such a very exactly. staple page. Well, they I'm just using on their YouTube, so it's like, yeah. Well, I don't I'm... need to think about it. Yeah, so I don't ever. Yeah, I just get the news straight from YouTube. But I, I've noticed that I'm getting. It's funny because you can, there's like levels, and I was even thinking about becoming a member of the uh, support, whatever, whatever, just to get the days early. But then I'm like, well, then I'm just gonna have the same problem a day early, <laughs> as now. I was like, oh, right, uh, it's just like content, oh, well, a day mm -hmm. early, a day and, early, and, and it gives me an idea if I ever do have my own like media thing that's like Rooster Teeth, how I'm gonna solve that problem. Right. I'm literally going to make enough content for 24 hours every day get a company that enough size for that and then try to wow, make a solid solid because then if you made 24 hours every day no one would ever be able to watch it all they would never run out that's true i mean they might not like it all like i don't like everything maybe that, not 24 like, hours a day my man i'm like, telling you man like 24 at least 16 18 because you got to realize this would be a production company it wouldn't just be me obviously it would be up to upwards of hundreds of people and making just a whole content channel of okay we're live streaming two or three hours a day these people all day and then we're cutting edits for live plays for two or three hours a day then we've got a show and like i said rooster teeth basically I know does it. yeah it they now. do yeah they do i know what you mean but they just it, and it's mostly just i don't like every show i'm not a sponsor so i don't see every show mm -hmm. and you like i said it's very hard to make 24 hours it is day. so I'm trying to show my brothers that girls can game too. Your suggestions are informative and great. I'm still learning though. Hey, that's okay. You hey, can be right. a gamer keep whenever. Learning. Yeah, keep yeah, learning. Anybody can be a gamer. Don't let anybody tell you you're not. And you a can gamer play either. any games you want. Like it can yeah. be on any console, any system. And like... that's the whole point of being a gamer is don't limit yourself. Don't. There's no game that makes you a gamer. In fact, I would say it's a lack of a specific game that makes you a gamer. There is gamers don't play one game. Yeah, we don't just we don't play, play just League one of game. Legends. But at the same time, don't feel like you have to play every single game and no, be caught no. up with every yeah. single thing. You're never gonna play every it's single. Never game. Gonna it's never gonna happen. Gonna happen. And if you haven't played a game and someone's like, "Oh, you're not a gamer because you haven't played the game," that's I BSing. guarantee you can list a ga hundred games they'll never they'll know never about. Know. They'll never have heard. And never have heard. Can't that play. makes you a gamer as well. And then we have different likes as well you know yeah. we have different things that we're on as well and as here's the thing just because someone me. knows more or less than you doesn't make them 
better, better or, worse. or worse. Yeah. He could know, like I said, I, I always laugh because uh, it was like my uncle or somebody, but I used to play all the time Halo, right? And mm -hmm. I would stomp on people here and there, here and there. I'm pretty good. You know, I wasn't the best or anything. My uncle never played video games ever. He would hop on and just wreck people because for whatever reason, just bang, bang, bang. Good. He never played it like too many video games, but guess what? He whooped my ass at Halo every time. Sheesh. Every single he time, was just man. He good at it, man. He was good. He didn't know why. I think he cheated, bought himself a copy, and didn't tell me. <laughs> just he probably like, did. That he is got good. No, but all right. So we're going to try to move off of video games. Um, but yeah, returning to our comics section, you were talking about Walking Dead and the Whispers art was in. Yeah, it's gonna be real big. We, you know, I touched on most of the stuff that's not spoilers. You're gonna see exactly what happens to the town and how that happens, and you're gonna see how that uh -oh. all plays out. Some bad gonna happen. Uh, I mean, we're talking about Walking Dead. That's true. When does anything really <laughs> great happen in Walking Dead? Happen? Um, you were telling us earlier about Darth Maul's standalone. How is that going? So the Darth Maul standalone, I'm really liking how they're touching on his personality. We never got any background on, Dar on Darth Maul. Oh, yeah, and this they do is that way really, more in the comics. Really nice I bet. to see like exactly what his thoughts were because he was Palpatine's apprentice in that movie. So it's like, how was Palpatine's apprentice before Vader? How did right. he act? And what, what was, was he like? Like yeah, what was like he like? Said. Exactly. And basically, he dude, he started okay. So Palpatine back then, obviously they didn't have the Empire and stuff. Right. The Jedi were. It, basically the Jedi were in control because one of the two is always in control of the galaxy. Basically. The Jedi were in control. So it was in peace, if you will. The, um, the sure. Darth city is, he was just like kind of chilling on the side. Like we got to spring up at the right time when it's ready. Yep. The force will tell us when it's the time to spring when up. Is the time to spring. And, and Darth Maul is like, you know, I've been training all this time. Like, I want to see how I do against these bullshit Padawans. Like, I want to see how I can beat them. Like, I'm getting impatient, I'm getting impatient. So he starts planning on ways to attack the Jedi without the Emperor knowing. Oh, jeez. Yep. So he's planning these all these different tactics and moves that he could just spring up on Jedi. Now, that's not, that hasn't come out yet, but that's that's basically what's going through his head right now. Because he's already, not a spo <sighs> spoiler, not spoiler, because we talked about his personality. It's kind of like he's already done something against the Emperor, and you'll see. Um, I mean, I think that's just the Sith thing. It's just, it is, you ride especially when you get like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, and if he would, were to kill him, then he would become the Sith Dude, master. Yep, yep, yep. yeah. He that's, that's how it works. Rule of two. Yep, the rule of two. You can kill your master. Figure it out. Check yep. it out. You guys know. Figure out your master. Kill your master at any time and become the Sith master. It's just like that. Oh, man, I'm just so happy with the amount of things. I feel like we're getting people from all over. Like we've got your friend, and then we've got Sai, who came all the way from Ireland, and that's just amazing. That's amazing, yeah. That's thanks, amazing. Sai. Thank you so thank much, you man. For if you watch in. this later, or whatever. Just I might, thank we you might tag for Sai. You, 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 you were a pleasure to talk to you. Everybody, everybody. Three forty-five in the morning too, dude. Ooh. That's where I'm like, dude. That's some dedication. And then he's like, look forward to the next stream, man. We'll yeah, be here for man. Next week, and we'll be here. I, we next will week, be here. talking about Legion, especially. Oh, we will have watched it. It will have been awesome, hopefully. Awesome. You notice hopefully, how I added yeah. that qualifier. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't make predictions anymore, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, so the Dark Mall sounds great. Yeah, I mean, so great. does Walking Dead, man. And also um, Justice, Justice League. League Power Rangers oh, has man. a crossover. I got to read it. Released. I'm going to have to read it. I have to. It's now. good, man. So, like, basically, I know I had some people ask me, they're like, how can the Justice League and the Power Rangers combat they're like both good teams here's the kind of setup that happens that oh, leads to that shoot. so basically the the black ranger zach he ends up by himself in uh the the rangers tower what have you the headquarters and uh he accidentally gets teleported to another dimension now this is after zed has broken in the lair and he's attacking them zed ends up transferring him to the dc universe oh. he has an axe one of Zed's henchmen got through. He gets through. Batman is right there. Oh. So he zapped him right into Gotham. And Batman is pulled up with the Batmobile. Like, hold on. What are you doing? And he's like, are you one of uh, Zed's, you know, henchmen? So he runs up to him with the axe. And it just starts happening from there. Yeah. Like the Rangers it's show It's always up. misunderstanding. Yeah, it when is. It's fights. always. When Remember, fights, that's the classic. Heroes, whenever heroes meet, they have to have a misunderstanding. 
fight a little bit and then team up. Yep, exactly. That's, that's how what it leads up to. This that's how, how it meets in every case except for Stiltman and the Punisher. And we all know how that ended. <sighs> we don't all know how that ended. Go look how that ended in Marvel Civil War story. It's messed up. <laughs> I know how it ended. <laughs> I know how it ended. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you wanted to say a little bit about the Justice League versus Suicide Squad, though. I know. Oh, I've read one. Yeah, he's got an. I finished issue, it the other day, and I've even read the Justice League cross-ins, nice. like the tie-ins now nice. from the. Uh, so there's two cool ones. Uh, one cool ones afterwards where they talk about what happened in the regular Justice League, but then the Justice. I can't ruin it. It's so fresh. It's so. It's like a month. It's, it's not a fresh. month old. It's like a week it's old. Very fresh. And so all I can say is. Uh, Justice League versus Suicide Squad is an interesting comic book with a semi. I mean, it's semi predictable. I guess that you know the plot's a little predictable, but you. But at the same time, it's interesting enough to keep you there. There's a lot of conflict, and then God damn you, Amanda Waller. God damn. You. Seriously, this woman is the villain. She is the villain, and I don't know how she keeps getting back <laughs> she into keeps the getting, power. She keeps getting away with it from the Justice it's League like, and getting back in power with the Suicide Squad. It's just like, and it's just like every time, and there's an, there's like, so like I'm watching Agents, there's like a character who I kind of hate, like Waller. Not as much because Waller just obviously has done so many stupid, bad decisions. That's the thing. She's always like, they need me to save the world from the things they're not strong enough and dark enough to save it from. Yeah, but I seriously. endanger the world every other week. Because I'm messing well, it up every single day. He, as much as they do, even though I'm always Jeez, blaming uh, them for endangering the world, it, I endanger it as much or more, and I'm dark, and I'm It's just bad. like she said in the movie, remember? She's like, are you the devil? And she's like, no, I'm worse. Yeah. Which, that was actually the, the line from the comic in the movie, and she said, I might be. And I was like, ah, I kind of wish she did tie in that, that comic. That would have been cool, I guess, but... It was good. It was good for what it was. I liked Suicide Squad. I thought it was okay one time. It was watch. better. It was like you said. It was better for the uh, thing. You know, it's like you. You know, I might. I still like. Uh, I think I showed you the quote because it was from the thing. It's actually from that. I think the quote I showed you, and I didn't realize it was spoiling for you, but it's from one of the participants of JL versus SS, and the quote is about Amanda Waller. He's like, he's like, I know it's hard to resist, you know, our loyalties, but in order to kill the devil. You know, we can't just, uh, oh God, now I can't remember it. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Who oh, said I it? Like I don't remember either. It's like this was character I don't know. No, it oh. was not Deadshot. It, was it wasn't character. one of the main ones? It's He's like a main character, but he's like not a character I'm very familiar with from DC. I'll have to look it up during our quote no, section Diablo real quick. Or... No, no, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> it's a whole thing. You know what? I'm, I'm not even going to do it now because it's too much of a spoiler. Uh, but it's great. Uh, besides that, though, Justice League versus Suicide Squad is all around a great read. It's done now. If nice, you man. can go, if you want to go watch it and find it and buy it, uh, read it and find it and buy it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I liked it, and I hate everything. DC is doing a good job I with these everything. rebirth lines. The, the rebirth really lines are. are all around great. There's still parts that are up and down, like everything. That happens in every series. Uh, but for the most part, I feel like they're strong storylines, good arc work, good connections. They still gotta work on that universal tie-in stuff, man. They are not. They don't. I don't. I don't. I just don't think they have that meeting that Marvel has every two years to plan out the next two years. No, nah, they. I don't think they do, man. And they need. You that. gotta meet up. You gotta meet up. And so they only do like they talk about it in the, since like two thousand. Since before Civil War, Marvel has gotten together every couple of years to meet to, and plan and, the next two years. Yeah, out. basically, they're like you know we want to make sure that these details you know are inset you don't have to tell us your whole story or anything but when we cross over this is the thing these are the basic big outlines these are the giant they do tie-ins they do multi-universe events they do huge things gotta keep up with each other there's and, no way and you so can they talk do about it you know, they're planning this out they have a, a huge meeting it's probably a two two or three day meeting i heard mm -hmm. maybe even Some, longer something like that yeah it might even be longer where they just meet maybe on a all two or that. three week i mean El, i just know that it's huge and it has all of their writers basically and all of their their uh artists artists just hanging out and pitching pitching new yeah story and it sounds and like the best place it sounds like that if they if it weren't gonna ruin it for the fans later on that we would want to watch that live and they could we would pay so much money to watch that live them just meeting up and yeah and just nerding, nerding out and out thinking and stuff yep. oh, i'll watch that live all day i did i would i would i would all day I'd definitely watch it that's why i go to you know comic con all the time <laughs> 
Comic Convos, everyone. Comic Convos, I mean, guys. Yeah, we you do. Know, we try to go to Comic Convos. That happening right stuff. in front of you. Which actually, are you coming to Denver Comic Con this year? Yes, I actually um, I am just... meeting with one of the marketing directors next Thursday. I might be doing social media for it. That's you got to cool. look out, guys. I might be doing some moderation for them. That's nice. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully. It's like I was, uh, I was probably going to go with a couple people and maybe do some cosplay if I can. That'd be awesome, man. Let me know. I'll God, see if I can. Man. I got to start now. Post or something. I've already waited too long. I should have started last month. But I'm trying to get a Miles Morales. I think you can pull it off. Yeah, I'm trying to get that together. I have two things. I want to be a giant sock puppet. This is going to be the best cosplay ever. Trust it me. is. <laughs> that sounds awesome already. With, yeah. I just need to get the material right. It's trying to find a giant sock. Oh, guys. We're at almost 3,000 people. We're over 3,000 people. Yeah, we are over 3K reached. views. This, uh, we, we also passed our views this time. Our comments are about the same as last time, actually. And I like that because it's stable. You guys are talking with us very Yeah, we enjoy having the consistent chats. We do. Any amount of chat um, is great. And so... I think with no other class, we didn't set up a classics or recommended this week really because yeah. we were just, there's not, I mean, there's, we can always do it, but there were more focuses on we TV kinda, and movie this yeah, week. Yeah, we, we just kind of did some, we were trying to make it a little different. And, dolls, yeah. and if there's anything you obviously wanted to talk about that we didn't in comics that, you know, we could talk all day. We can always talk. Yeah. Know. Just let us know to, you know, let us know about a comic you might be reading that maybe that we either of us don't know yeah, yeah we, we yeah. should be yeah like you said we should i heard the red the red hood um rebirth series I is a love, really good one i love uh the first one i haven't read more than the first one but i love the first one yeah Ooh, love first yeah one. red hoods I I, like the he red needed hood. some backstory he needed more he needed way more he, he was, was not even a involved mysterious villain yeah he was a he, he was, was a, a he was a villain i like to say that you have no investment in exactly because he didn't have his lines he didn't have anything he yep. wasn't popping up in Batman comics that often, except he would pop up in like Robin team ups randomly. Is, well, and he was like I said, he's showing them now, but in yeah. a little bit of New Fifty Two, but no one loved New Fifty Two. The people who love New Fifty Two hate everybody else. No, I'm just kidding. I'm messing with you guys. There are a few please, good New Fifty Two Please don't, lines. please don't take what I'm saying seriously. So that was a good New Fifty Two. Uh, series. Catwoman, I heard was pretty decent. Really? Yeah, I heard Catwoman was decent, or maybe it was the Harley Quinn series was decent in New Fifty Two. One of those two. Probably Harley Quinn. I've heard all the Harley Quinn series are pretty good. Also, if you haven't read the new Injustice, Gods Among Us, a uh, Ground Zero. Or seen that that's what we should talk about too. Is Injustice Two is still on the rise? Yeah, and there's a game. Injustice Two, the game is coming yeah, soon. That's what I'm. Yeah, and they've got a bunch of characters showing the fight between Nightwing and Bruce. Bruce, yep. That was oh, great. Yes. Yeah, so that was uh, that'll be awesome. That was and the lines it's so accurate too. It's like I'm your son. Right. Damien was my or not Damien the uh, Dick was my son. That's just like, up. damn. It is. But it's true, though. It I is mean, both Dick true. Was, I mean, well, and also, Dick. also based on what happens in Injustice, which, no spoilers. Yeah. But... That one's sad. Uh, so I think w with the lack of any recommended or besides that, we can move into our, uh, our social media yeah, kind of social game media section. And section. Uh, I think we'll save the quiz for the very end, or maybe we'll add ask the quiz now and then give people a chance what is, to... what's the quiz man i didn't really I have got, any quiz uh, i got my box right there to the left ah that is where i get the quiz we are from pulling now. a card guys we got the marvel, Doing the trivia, marvel box. trivia someone if you have a dc or star wars or let any, us know yeah, let we'll us actually know. We start will. googling these things maybe i mean coming with a trivia oh yeah we'll try to get a box. different one and start going and let's get people down i mean we also know a myriad of facts i'm sure we could come up with them and Leo will be asking me, so it's fair that you guys have to ask, and I have to, you know, do too. So we'll ask now, and we'll put it at the end of this section. We'll answer. All right. So ask me the question. Ant Man helped cure the Hulk of ALS by shrinking down and repairing Bruce Banner's afflicted DNA. True or false? Uh... And we won't we won't reveal the answer until the end, but. I'm personally going to go with true because I believe I've heard something about this, but we'll I see at the wrong. end. We'll, we'll see, see at the end. At the end. It's a real, it's a nail biter. Uh, so besides that, we'll, we also, uh, we wanted to do some quotes. I have to grab mine real quick, but yeah, most definitely. I mean, we wanted to, we always like to come with some quotes because quotes are inspiring, especially when it's like the right hero and the right thing, you know, when, yep. 
Well, and sometimes they're revealing too, and they're not. Some some are inspiring, some are revealing, some are uh, some are depressing, even. But sometimes that's what you have. That's, yeah, sometimes you, know, that's you got what a you mix got. of all of them. Yeah, I got to grab one. I will admit I had a fact, but I didn't really have a quote. I have, I, and that's funny. I think I'm the opposite. I don't have a fact ready, but I have a quote ready stored in my pictures. Probably, I mean, I tried. I've been trying to do that. Make time for things when you're on the toilet, people. I'm just kidding. Thank you, Tommy <laughs> Hayden, for liking uh, our page, Comic Convos. Well, thank we you. Appreciate thank you very that. much. We really do uh, more than you can imagine. Sorry, uh, I'm looking for the quote. All right, got one from Professor X here. Just because someone stumbles and loses their path doesn't mean they're lost forever. Sometimes we all need a little help, and that's obviously in reference to his best friendship with Magneto. You know, he always in all the com in most of the comics and most of the movies, he really wants to bring Magneto back. He had he knows that he has potential to come back to his side because he knows that Magneto was that way before. Yep. However, Magneto, what Magneto thinks he's doing is better for his people. I mean, there's he, very. It's, it's, it's kind of like always forget that Magneto is not a villain. He's not. He's he just, doesn't. He doesn't perceive himself. I guess no one does. Well, some people do. And don't care. He's like he's that guy that's just like got a skewed version of what he thinks is. He the is. Worst. He has a much harsher version of reality than you and me. And you got to remember, people always forget Magneto went through the Holocaust. Through the Holocaust, he lost his fucking child and wife. Oh, like yeah. a lot of things happened. There to this was guy. a lot of different stuff. And humans killed him. His daughter. Yeah, that was messed up in the movies. That was real messed. That was real sad. I knew that was coming too. I saw it coming, and I was just same. So sad. As soon as he had a family, I was like, "Oh no, yep, Magneto doesn't die. have a family." Magneto doesn't get to have a family. Come on, no way. Like, it's Magneto. Yep. Okay, and so mine is a quote from Doctor Fate speaking to Harley Quinn. You and the Joker are tethered together across dimensions, time, even fate. You will be bonded forever. Whoa. There's no escape, no evasion. Weapons are pointless, as are other people. The only thing that can save you is a magic word. No. Wow. It's pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. And that is actually from the Injustice series, Ground Zero series. So check that out, guys. It's very, it's very much about kind of Harley. It is about still the Injustice thing, but it's very much about Harley's perspective. And it's really cool, man. Yeah, I really like it. I really like how they've taken Harley. I was a little disappointed at first, but. To be honest, the way that the portrayal between Harley and the Joker were together was very an unhealthy thing to portray in comics. It was, and they tried to portray it a lot more um, toned down in the movies. But if you buy the extended version, you see some of that going on. And the thing is, um, it's inaccurate. It's and it brings the thing. It's addressing the problem, well, but it's just it's have you so seen the extended harsh. cut. I have not. Well, I haven't seen the extended. Okay, guys. At this point, it's not too much of a spoiler. But it depicts how the Joker actually treats Harley a little bit more. Um, and especially how he treated her initially. Oh, yeah. He was a lot more um, abusive, harsh. Uh, he did some really fucked up things to Harley. So oh, yeah, it's did. like, uh, that's the real relationship that they actually have. Like, it's not, you it's know, very flowers and rainbows. Yeah. Well, like, it is like, to Harley. But... He d yeah, it is to Harley, but he... He doesn't give a crap. He doesn't care. He yeah. doesn't care. It was just like that episode of the animated series when Batman starts laughing because he he thinks or she thinks that he um her capturing him is gonna make the Joker love him, love her fall in love with oh, her. Oh yeah, I remember that one. And it's like no, Batman starts laughing. Batman starts like laughing super loud, and she's like, "Oh my god, that's really scary. Stop laughing." And he's like, "That'll never happen. If you kill me, the Joker will be very unsatisfied." Because the Joker, he That's knows that the thing. Joker wants to chase him. Well, we him talked about that. that was your fact that the other week, either last week or the week before, was that uh, once Joker thought that Batman, Batman was, was dead, dead so he just went back to a normal life. Yeah, he went back like, to college. Bye. Uh, there's some great, great facts out there. Um, My fact of the week would be um, the fact that when there was the Marvel GC crossover between some of the Justice League and Avengers characters, mm -hmm. Quicksilver and Flash did a race, and Flash won because of the Speed Force. But I and I like this one because I know the other pack of that force. The Flash won with Speed Force, but in the Marvel universe, Quicksilver, Quicksilver is faster. faster. Mm -hmm. So it does depend universally. Yeah. Where are you? So at? there's no question that Flash can go faster than Quicksilver, and I don't think anyone would ever make who knows the two characters well, would ever make that assumption or say that Chris Quicksilver has never shown himself going that quickly. No. Only in contextual situations, which 
even then is probably not as quickly as the any of the flashes uh but like they said in, in the speed force uh my uh fact oh man i have a hard time i guess i'll use the one i saw this week that i was impressed with that i only that i can't believe i didn't know i think you me and you talked about it too or maybe you, you used it last week too and i was just so impressed i'm doing it again mm. was that uh rick Ryder, the original nova uh during the annihilus wave killed annihilus by shoving his arm down his throat and ripping out his intestines Whew. which Wow. Which I thought was not only intense, but then the current Nova, Sam, mm -hmm. asked him, can you even do that? And Reed's just like, well, I didn't really stop to ask him while I was doing it. <laughs> Damn, and I, and I doubt he could have responded. <laughs> this is pretty intense, but to That's be fair, very the Nihilist wave was going to destroy the whole universe. Yeah, and then in terms of verses, I see you had one for this week. Who'd you have? I and this is a cool one I got from. If you haven't been keeping up, uh, Inhumans versus X Men's been out and it's continuing to go. Uh, Black Bolt versus Dazzler. Mm. So those who don't know, uh, Black Bolt is a super strong, super fast, just all around badass of a of an Inhuman, the Inhuman King, in fact, known but known as Black Gaunt or Black. Black Gon Boltigar or Bolt Black Boltigar Black Gon Black, 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 Black Gon Boltigar Black Boltigar Black Gon Boltigar I think uh but his voice is like on an order of that vibrational magnitude that can just destroy all kinds of craziness with like a whisper he can like destroy your whole skeleton jeez and that's intense oh he's intense dude he's been shown to like mess with the Hulk during World War Breaker status although he beat Black Bolt and that one, people have often argued that that A wasn't the original Black Bolt. All, for, mm. First of all, it was a scroll copy. Really? That's supposedly or something like that. I don't know. There's all so in of... that man, in that case, he probably he would have beat a Hulk. We don't know the... is the thing. There's like not a consensus. He would have had a better chance. The thing is, we don't have. Yeah, it would have had a better chance. We don't know. Supposedly though, it's supposed to be on an unspeakable. It's supposed to be a weapon of mass destruction, just entirely unstable and ridiculous. Like, he's been trained so that he can't. He never utters a sound ever Jeez. unless he wants to because every utterance is just like something in his brain vibrates and just boom, just destroy wow, shit. That's crazy, dude. Well, like in the so, in, but uh, Dazzler is a mutant who can control sound and turn it into light, or she can turn sound into light energy and control it. Wow. And she's been shown to actually handle extreme Gosh. amounts of power. She's not listed as a mega mutant, but maybe should be because she's been so shown to. She takes what and turns it into sound? Sound, sound and into turns it into light, light and they can control light. She turns sound into light and, and they, they can, can control. control light. So she can, she technically has laser powers, although they never show her Jeez, to her full like guys. benefit. They just show her doing that. But she's, Dazzler? she's supposed to be insanely strong with the right amount of power. Like, the more sound, the stronger Dazzler is, apparently. And she's a very unknown, like, 80s hip poppy character that is often uh, laughed at and overlooked. But she should definitely not be for certain situations like this where it's very specific sound-based people like Banshee or uh, mm -hmm. Black Bolt would not. Banshee is high as fuck. Yeah. A, is he a beta or an alpha? He might be an I think alpha. he's an alpha. He might be an alpha. It's really hard to tell because the the mutant separation levels are crazy. Like, in terms of where the level of power can be sometimes. Because mm -hmm. you have alpha level mutants like Wolverine and Cyclops who are look and seem powerful. Even, um, I think, who Sinister. Who are technically classed in it. Yeah. Yeah, they're not. They, they aren't classed even though they... Even though they are, I mean, and you gotta, I guess it kind of almost comes from a pers perspective standpoint of, well, these mutants just have really strong powers, right? Whether they're strong enough to get through a battle with well, Wolverine and the or thing, Cyclops is another story. Right, and that's always the different thing, and that's why it's all the Omega, Alpha, Beta. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, for those, that's another fact I'll do, just for those of you who don't know, there's a side story. I think I mentioned it in an earlier podcast already. I love how I'm already covering old stuff. But people are still... References. References. <laughs> but uh, for those who haven't seen it, there's a side comic called The Worst X-Man Ever. What? Yeah, and it's basically about this kid who 
who figures out he's a mutant uh, and goes to like visit Xavier's school. Uh-huh. And when he does, he learns he's, he's this mutant and his only power is to explode. But he can only do it one time and he'll I heard die. About that. Yep. Yep. But he has that one time to explode and that's and so it. So that's considered, first of all, a Zeta level power. So he has a, the lowest of level powers. I believe is what they mentioned. Well, yeah, because he, he dies as soon as he activates his power. One second. I gotta look up the level that they gave it the worst. X man ever. And then there's he has a friend, and this is the friend I'm mentioning for the reason. Uh number four. I guess hmm. that's what I can. And that guy, by the way, that person's name is Bailey. He gets put on the X-Men and then he... They, How does he figure out he, he's going to be able to explode? They just do the uh, test. Beast t- does a test or something. And he's oh, like, oh, jeez. And, oh, man, this isn't what I wanted to do, but I, I think I can still do it from here. Wait, were there five? Crap, there does was he, five. Does he explode? Well, we'll, we'll uh, talk our, about that after. I, I, I we'll mean, talk I, about it after. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about it after. But the bigger part is his friend, which is what I wanted to talk about. Was he's not the important one, obviously, unfortunately for him. His he friend is isn't in this or comic. He is? His friend. Oh. Or he isn't. His friend is the important one. Who's so, his friend? Uh, she is a young woman, a uh, mutant. But they talk about it. And if I can ever find her thing. Oh, man. I should have went to the first one, actually. What's her yeah. power? Basically to do whatever she wants. She's got mm. reality bending powers on the on an obscene level, even considering like Franklin Richards. Supposedly, she has even stronger like power than that. It's hard to explain. I'm trying to find her thing, but unfortunately, I have a lot open right now, and I can't remember. Hey, that's okay, man. We'll slide into yeah. my verses real quick, and then we'll go ahead and close out. Everybody, I think so. This will be about the end. We're we're, we're stagging down. We're getting to the edge of this, and uh, we're having fun. But it's about time to go. So we'll do one more verses. We'll take some yep. more questions, and, uh, and then the last verses. Mine was uh the Green Ranger versus Dick Grayson. That sounds like a good one, and I'm guessing I might get to see that. Very possible. Very possible. Um, huh? We'll see. Maybe Dick will show up in the Justice League comic. Who knows? But. <laughs> That would be a cool matchup, I think. I, I think mean, it would the be Power great. Rangers are more powerful than people realize. And what I, I didn't even realize until I saw that there was a whole comic universe, did a little bit of digging, and I saw that they actually have quite a bit of power, enough to take on the Justice League realistically. Because, A, they're, they're humans with heightened senses, so they're each kind of like individually a Batman. Um, and then at the same time, they have these Megazords. They have That's kind of crazy. like special yeah. weapons. Oh, they yeah. have special powers connected to these weapons. So it's like they're actually a lot more powerful than I thought. And like looking at some I'm of that comic fodder, I'm going to have to read those comics. Same. That way I can even think about those comic, two. And I'm like, I'm thinking about really trying to get into okay. some more and so for our, yep. And for, two, for our two viewers, and when we just gained, I'm sorry. Uh, but I think that's basically it. We will that's answer it. the... The question, question which, which before is, which was did if you want to repeat the question ant man help cure the hulk of als by shrinking down and repairing bruce banner's afflicted dna true or false and it was true it was true yes, i was right i got lucky yeah. i did not i have actually not read that i think i've read about that not read that i don't think we had anyone try for that unfortunately but uh, we've reached the end of our viewers. Reached... This was the end, and now we're getting more viewers again. <laughs> and I'm sorry, guys. We're closing, we're closing out, the out the stream right now. Uh, please, please check please. out some of the earlier sections and leave some comments for next yeah, stream, which will know. be next let week. Let us know. Same time, 7.30 to 9 or 9.30 as we've been getting yeah, there. We've just seven, been talking yeah, so long. It's just whatever. Uh, however much you guys We were like a little bit. Dude, we to. had such great viewers again. We had a good amount of comments again. Great amount more of comments, More reached guys. than last Thank week you. by like a 1,000 a thousand more we're Another just climbing thousand. guys we're slowly Thank climbing you and we love it so much coming back so please much. come back next week please talk to us please hit the comic convos page and like us we're gonna be posting new stuff i'm gonna post you know it's gone so well this week i'm gonna post another congratulatory meme probably today or tomorrow and say thank and you to everybody on the you. page yep. we're gonna thank you guys you know and we, we, we really love you. it yep. we love all the likes we got a bunch of love on likes and hearts and stuff got 13 shares like you know 110 Every comments bit. guys another bit. great group of comments another oh, great so group good. of it's com- so nice we're loving it we love it guys we love you we love the convos we love comics oh we love this we love thing, this man. guys we so thank you this. so much for coming and we will see you next week we will see you next week guys see you next week everybody see you.
If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.